Your favorite duo is back and we're going book shopping, so make sure you're subscribed because there's new videos on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays every single week, and I hope you guys enjoy. Hello oh, guys, <laughs> we're back! <laughs> I feel like I always have to say we're back, like they don't know, like by the title of the video. Oh, <laughs> thumbnail? That's true. Like, like, thumbnail. They already know. Hey guys, how are you doing? Guys, it's crazy that you like have your own channel now. Yes, like, I just hit 4K. <laughs> She's hey, a baddie. She's a baddie. Uh, that is crazy. I was thinking about this yesterday. I was like, I cannot believe 4,000 people want to listen to me talk. Why wouldn't you? Huh? Why wouldn't you believe that? Because I get on my nerves sometimes. No, so, you don't, girl. No, I, I literally get on my own nerves sometimes. <laughs> so I'm just like, I can't believe people find me entertaining enough to just sit and like watch. I just think that's so weird. Literally the first video that we did, I feel like people were like, can she get a channel? Like, get a channel. I'm like, get off my back. Like, I can't make her do that. Like, she's got to do it yes, on her own. And I had to be ready. Yeah. And I was, I, I, I'm ready now, of course, because it's fun. I've developed so many like relationships which yeah. is so like crazy to me like yeah. I just real like, people real yes, friends and stuff, right? yes it's so nice like it's whenever so you nice. guys are like oh like i hope we can be friends like i wish that we would be friends i'm like no we're literally friends like if you're watching like we're friends yes like, yes <laughs> it's oh like i talk God. to y'all more than i talk to some of my like yes. actual friends in real life like oh when you God. message and stuff i know people's like names by their faces and you know like i don't know it's just like cool yeah experience. yes and i love that and i love that like the little like community i'm building now like when i grow like those would be the people like i remember the most yes like, y'all is the real ones y'all yes. was here from jump yes. like, like i can say people's names and be like this person this person, yes. this person. like you've been here from the beginning yes like the video that comes out on my channel tomorrow uh -huh. is when you the books you bought me or whatever. No. <laughs> but then I was talking about like Archer's voice and a, a girl I met through your channel, Tina. Mm -hmm. And when I was talking, I was like, yeah, my friend Tina. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> Like, I met her through the book world. I just Isn't thought that, that was so cool. I'm like, wow, you brought a lot of people to me. Like, a lot well, of, Well, like... I mean, I think that people just seeing you, like, it's kind of like if you introduce someone to another friend, it's like you just put them in the space for the other person to fall in love yeah. with them. But, like, you had to be yourself for people to, like, want to yeah. go over you. So, like, don't, you know. Yeah, I think it's, too, it's, like, hard for me to, like, I don't know, like, my cousin, because our, our viral, uh... We're romance or whatever. Romance yeah, readers. go on uh, our Instagram if you guys haven't already. There was like a video that popped off that we did together. If you're not following us there, you need to. It was really funny. Yes, I thought it was freaking hilarious. I did too. I mean, we fell out on the floor. Like, yeah. literally. <laughs> And my cousin, he saw it and he was like, uh, what well, I went viral because Shaughnessy, I mean, that's it. Like, uh, excuse me? Yeah, no, this is what he says to me. He was like, yeah, that's. I mean, no. I mean, look, look how many followers she has. Like nothing about. Basically, you're saying like nothing Hater. about you. In this and I was like, I think we're both funny. Well, also, like, you should be like, I've had videos on my own Instagram yeah. that have popped off. Well, I didn't yet though. Oh, okay. I didn't. Until, you knew it was coming regardless. Well, yeah, but then after the fact, I think the Lord. That's why I love Jesus so much because I think He felt that insecurity like flare up in me. Like, dang, yeah, like and He's like, right. no, let me show you. He's like, let me show you. It's <laughs> like the simple things like I could work with. And I was like, see how the devil like manipulates your like mm -hmm. insecurities and stuff but i was like yeah i've been having a lot of um imposter syndrome really too. it's been really really bad oh i'm sorry it's okay i'm sorry you know it's okay though it's fine it's not sad i feel like i don't know like when i first started my creator journey like you're never gonna be at the point where someone else is so like even mm -hmm. with me like being where i'm at I feel like I'll look at other people and be like, mm -hmm. oh, like, they have, like, better engagement than me. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, they have, like, you know, this or that. And it's, like, it's so hard to stay in your own lane because I feel like there's always someone who's better. But I yeah. think over time, like, the more I'm just like, you know what? I have a great community. Like, yeah. whether there's, like, like when you were like, I can't believe there's 4,000 people yeah. that are, like, here. It's like, yeah. imagine 4,000 people in a room. Yeah, G girl. Imagine 200 people in a room. It's 4,000 people in Sparta. Yeah, like, that's your yeah. whole town. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, I mean... People will hate regardless, and, like, I think yeah. I was telling Alex the other day, because she was, like, talking about haters or whatever, and I remember when I first started this community, and I remember I was, like, trying to get to 100 subscribers, and I was, like, come on, friends, like, you know, share my, like, Instagram or share, like, whatever, mm -hmm. and so many people were just, like, oh, you're doing your little swipe up, like, you're, <laughs> like, just, like, oh, you got your little channel, like, 
you know, just like kind of trying to be like petty. Mm -hmm. And then I remember my old boss, he literally like would walk into work and he would be like, um, what would he say? He would be like, oh, so you're going to style me today? Like, oh, you're going to give me a new outfit today? He'd be like, I watched your video last night. He literally would watch it just so he could come in and like, uh -huh. make fun of me. And it's like, you know what? I don't care about you because yeah. if you're the type of person who wants to hate on me, like, yeah. you got something within you that you need to fix. Yeah. It has nothing to do with me, so. Yeah, you're you right. And maybe that's what's flaring up in me is, like, I feel like I keep hearing all the people that, like, either tell me I'm too dramatic or too much, but, mm. hello, I was made for the book community. Literally, you are, like, you are made like, for, like, creating the community that you're, yeah. you're creating now. And then I saw this girl, this video... I saw this video this girl made and she was like don't make content for the people in your life yes that's not who you make content for yes you make content for yourself mm -hmm. and the people that are gonna watch it literally like, yeah I so. feel like I don't know and I, I guess I wanna say this to anybody cause I feel like I have to say this to myself very often it's like people who either want what you have or wish that they could do what you're doing will forever like try mm -hmm. to stomp on whatever you're trying to create yeah. especially in the beginning stages and it's funny because those same people who would say like stuff about my channel or stuff about whatever they're coming in now like oh my gosh i love like you know what you've created and what you've built like i mm -hmm. love this and that it's like i was doing that before yeah. i was doing that with a hundred yeah. people i was yeah. doing that with whatever but it's like now years later now that you think it's inspiring because right. other people see my value like i saw my value from the beginning yeah so, you, you know, have like you legit have yeah. like you like mm -mm, i'm these people play you girl <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that's true. That's one thing I can say. I take away from you. You see your worth and your value. You don't well, play so about you, that. I see yours too. That's why I'm like, get your channel. Yes, get your yeah. channel. I'm like freaking counting yeah. you. I'm so glad that you have your channel yes. now. What, speaking of your channel, what are some good books that you've like read recently? Um, right now I'm reading the fine print. I actually really like it. Ooh, yay. I, I'm really feeling, I'm really feeling rolling. Like, <laughs> He's giving toxic friend. daddy. I really <laughs> like it. He can he can talk to me anytime. Like, oh my god, I just want a billionaire boyfriend. Like, <laughs> come and whisk me away. No. Oh, come on. Someone I saw this TikTok <laughs> of this guy who's like, you know what is so funny? There will be like a book boyfriend, and he's a billionaire. He's <laughs> six seven. Uh -huh. and he's also twenty two. Yeah. <laughs> like all these unrealistic things, and then. Like, the girl, it'll be, like, a girl who works at, like, Target, hates her job, yeah. isn't even pretty, and she'll come in and be like, I want you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> who do we yes. think we are, like, so believing these stories? But, like, I don't I know. I love it. it. I too. love it. Um, then I, I finished Twisted Hate. <laughs> girl. Is that your favorite one? Yes. You will really love that one. That's the third one? Yes, that is better. It's to me. Okay. Because the storyline... The character growth. You know all about character growth. Yes. The character growth. The smut was a lot less. Who it was, was it with? Uh, who were the characters? Uh, Jules, Ambrose, and Josh Chen. Okay. Which is Ava's brother. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But, um, yeah, that one was... <laughs> but I think I liked it, too, because... Man, that was toxic. Really? You love a toxic romance. But they grew so much. Like, they had so much trauma from their childhood. And, you know, I'm big on the trauma. Mm -hmm. And they were, uh, they had a lot of trauma that they had to work through. And it just mm -hmm. was, it was a beautiful story. The, be the best story out of both books. Really? Yes. Because uh, Bridget was low-key boring. Okay, she's a princess. <laughs> <laughs> and then... The second one? Yes. Okay. And Rise was just fine and sexy and just a protector and a provider. What mm -hmm. woman doesn't want that? So, right. of course, everyone was going to like Rise. Well, Reese. Everyone's, everyone's <laughs> going to like him. And then Alex was just... He's toxic. And low. <laughs> They're all kind of toxic. No, no. He's crazy. <laughs> like, like, none of them are on Alex's level. Alex is just flat out crazy. And Ava, ooh, little Miss Sunshine with the Grumpy. I'm learning all these tropes. Mm -hmm. I'm like, girl, ain't nobody that happy. <laughs> <laughs> nobody but yes oh, twist the hate God. is the best dang i just went on a whole no, you're oh, not, you're good. yes twist the hate to me well now i want to read it like i feel like since into you're not gonna like twist the games think? you don't mm -mm. think mm -mm. why because i know what you like to read was that the second one or third <laughs> <laughs> that's the second one okay the second one you don't think i'm gonna like that but you no, think i like the third one because he is rise i call mm -hmm. him rise sorry i know his name is reese but Ew, he's he's very masculine. We don't. Mm -mm. Um, he gets very toxic, controlling. Mm, you yeah. don't like that. Mm -mm. So you might probably get into it a little bit. I don't think you, I don't think you would. I, it'll be a DNF for you. I think. You think I've never DNF'd a book? Mm -hmm. I don't think? know because he is very disrespectful at times. But it turned me on. Oh, it might not, it might not turn See, you, you, you like that though. You like like uh, you punch know. me, kick me. You're like getting your place. Like, absolutely not.
Yeah. Absolutely not. I will stomp on your neck. Yeah. Like, absolutely not. <laughs> you say, yeah. Yeah. yeah, kick me. Ty is great, by the way. Like, oh, yeah, he like, doesn't do that. Ty is like the sweetest no. person ever. No. He's just your book boyfriend. Yeah, this is just, like, this, this, this is because I can't experience in real life, y'all. Mm-mm. My <laughs> boss had us take a personality test and it told me I was unrealistic. What? Told me I'm the Lulu. And the books don't help. Yeah, I'm sure they do. Ty don't. told me they don't. He said they make my life uh, harder. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like books, like, because a lot of people are like, oh, romance. Like, why do you read romance? Like, someone asked me one time, they're like, why do you read romance when you have a good relationship? I'm like, because, what? like, I like romance. And they're like, oh, I think that, like, what? romances are just for people who, like, are wanting, like, a relationship uh -huh. and are, like, lonely or something. I was like, what? what? So, for me, I'm like, I feel like it raises my standards. Like, if I read something in a book, I'm like, why couldn't my partner yeah. do that? Like, why couldn't he take me on a hot air balloon? Line? Yeah, I like, not mean, like the killing stuff. Like, why couldn't he murder somebody? For girl, me? it sets the standard. It because and does. then you can communicate the new standard. Right after he hearing what Ron Martin did, you need to rent a yacht. Yeah, I need to. I need to be on water <laughs> while I'm reading. Yes, and you Thank need to you. read the books with me. Yes, yes. Know the tropes, like me and my cousin. She just got in a relationship. The one that mm -hmm. came here and uh, met Sister Christy. Uh huh. And her man. That is so funny, by the way. Yeah, she so came. So her cousin came here to meet Christy. This okay. You guys have actually been asking where this is. This is uh, the Barnes and Noble in Fairview Heights. Yeah. So that's like near St. Louis, right? Yeah, about fifteen twenty minutes from St. Yeah, Louis. Yeah. So you could come here. She works. I don't know when she works, but we're here on Saturday, so <laughs> you would see her then. Yes. <laughs> I don't know when else she works, but I know for sure it's Saturday. Um. And she just got in a, a new relationship. Mm -hmm. Her man. Uh, we love a provider energy. <laughs> he brought her girl to buy her new books. And not only that, he bought his own books to start reading with what? her. See, that's the boyfriend yes, energy. Uh, yes. Like, so step we love, it up, man. Come on. And this isn't even a book boyfriend. This is like real life. This like, is real life. But like, I feel like she knows the standard like book yeah. girls know Come the on. standard you have to you yeah. have to we, we don't settle over here guys no we, we need don't. the yachts we need mm -hmm. <laughs> billionaires at 22. i need you to have somebody in your basement that you're about to kill no i read what did i read recently so i haven't really read anything other than into the dark that has like really pulled me in and then mm -hmm. i read the coldest winter by Brittany cherry she is an auto buy author for me. Like, auto buy author. Is that, that's the one you were telling me about? Yes, yeah. I'm like, her writing is so similar to Nat Natasha Bishop's. It's mm -hmm. not like the exact same because obviously every writer is different, but like, it's very similar. It's giving the culture. Mm -hmm. Like, it has like other side plots. Like, it has stuff that each character goes through, a lot of trauma. And like, yeah, I know you love the trauma. Yeah, I hope they have some of her books in here because I'll get I don't a couple. Think they do. You for real? Yeah. That's the thing about Barnes. So, I made a video um, on uh, TikTok and Instagram. I was talking about how I love black authors and so many people because I picked up Ace of Spades and I was mm -hmm. talking about how I love black romance authors and so many people again go follow both of us on Instagram like it's just it's the place to be but <laughs> I posted that video and I picked up Ace of Spades mm -hmm. which is like a YA book mm -hmm. and a lot of people are like girl Ace of Spades is not a romance and I'm like I was running out of ram romance books by black authors. Like, I was trying to, like, mix it up. Like, I got some of Kennedy yeah. Ryan. I got Jasmine Gullery's. There's only so many that, like, yeah. Barnes picks up. So, I was like, literally, I got, yeah. you know, Nicola You Like, I just had to pick what I could find. Right. I'm like, I could barely find any. So, yeah. yeah. So, Dang. anyway. People find, that's another thing that I've noticed. People find everything something to complain about. Like, mm -hmm. just enjoy the video and keep scrolling. <laughs> Thank yeah, you. you'll learn that real. Yeah, quick, yeah. Real so like, that's why all these influencers are freaking like, are like I need to take a break from mental health. <laughs> it's like you're the mental health issue. Like, yes. The <laughs> yes. Thankfully, I do feel like we do have like a really good community. Like, oh, I feel 100%. like I get way more like good comments than negative comments. And I don't ever like delete comments or block anybody or anything like that. But one time, somebody <laughs> they like commented, and like I don't usually comment, but I don't. I don't say usually. I never comment back on negative comments because to me it's like i'm not gonna reinforce you like yeah. being like this sucks whatever but some of y'all will literally come for them like in the comments like someone will say something negative yeah. and then like a bunch of people will be like as you who should do you write? They're like who do you think you're talking to mm -hmm. and i'm like okay like all right you as guys you come should. into that just like you would for friends so i don't know i feel like we have like a really good community yes something that's nice is that 
we don't have to deal with the hate in the book world. Like when we read the books, it's like, I love that I can read a book and just completely oh. shut off life. I'm like, I had a bad day. You know what? Let me just dive into this oh book real quick God. and never come back. Like, Girl, I thank you so much for introducing me to that. It's because crazy. You started reading like what, three months ago or four? It was September, October. I can't remember. I don't know. It was the end of last year, child. It was fall. That's crazy. And, and remember, I texted you this. Or I don't know if we were on the phone or what we were doing. And I said, remember when we were in the car? And I was like, and my life is about to change. Literally. It really did. <laughs> did. Like, it literally did. did. I was like, oh, my God. Words have so much power. So, I'm going to keep saying that. Yep. <laughs> my life's about to change. Yeah. 2024. Yes. Oh, my God. But books are freaking amazing. You know what was also crazy, though? Like, I was thinking about this whenever you said that whenever we were talking. How you wouldn't have known that your life was going to change like in, you know, June or July or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like you had no idea what was coming. You had no idea that you were going to create this like mm -hmm. incredible community, that you were going to find a new hobby. So, all oh, y'all, this is 2024. Like in two months, you could have a new job. You could have a new group yes. of friends. You could have a new hobby. Like, and I'm praying that for you, obviously. I yes. think all the good things, but it's just wild. Like you had no idea that you were gonna like yes, have this sex. whole new identity and yes. now you like do it's kind of cool girl and then like okay so it's only been like a month i've been like mm -hmm. yeah i think it's been a little over a month and i met kendra through you so she her friend tagged me mm -hmm. her friend followed you they okay. both followed you but then she tagged me tagged her in a rome martin video that i had mm -hmm. but they all followed we you love rome. and girl i i promise i promise kendra is probably gonna be like <laughs> What? Like she's a like she we talk about Jesus all the time. Really? And I prayed for like Christ centered friendships. You know that. Yes, yes. And she's a hardcore book girly that reads a little smut. Oh my God. <laughs> yes. And you literally pray for that. Yes. Like literally. That and I was just wild. like, I feel like even if God like strategically like did all this, just featured me on your channel mm -hmm. to bring her to me because mm -hmm. it was what I was praying for. Mm -hmm. Look how amazing God is. Yes. Like, yes. yes. Look, my feet, <laughs> my feet going crazy. But Kendra, yeah. like, oh my God, I can't wait for y'all to meet. Like, she, like, girl, like, I'm like, Lord, like, this is crazy. Oh like, my God. Yes. And I was praying, you know, I was praying for friendship. Yes. Like, yeah. And what literally, it was like right before, because we, the reason we went to the bookstore the first time wasn't even because we were mm -hmm. like, we weren't planning it. Like, mm -hmm. we were going to go out to eat, and I was like, oh, there's a bookstore right there. You know mm -hmm. me. I'm like, forever. Let me just stop in. My face. Let I me look. my eyes, I think. Yeah, you were like, huh. Like, <laughs> I was like, what are you reading? You're like, self-help. Like, I'm like, I'm like okay. And I was like, yeah. I mean, if you, you read self-help, it's fine, but... One of my friends, she no one of my friends, she goes, uh, it was the other day. She was like, Oh, I think I wanna like get back into reading. I've been reading nonfiction and it's been like boring me. <laughs> and maybe self help is your thing, but I feel like as adults we think like we need to be reading certain mm -hmm. things, like we need to read self help, we need to read nonfiction, we need to read whatever. It's like read a freaking graphic novel, children's book, like whatever you wanna read that's gonna like make you yes. happy. Don't be like reading stuff that like doesn't bring you joy. Yes. Um but we just stopped in and then after that you're like <gasps> oh. Yes, I read Love and Other Words and mm -hmm. it was just like oh, You guys wow. gotta go back and watch all the old videos. I was in the shower the other day thinking about the characters in Into the Dark. Like I'm I'm not kidding. Like I was oh, literally just like sweetie. showering just thinking like they're real people. I'm like, I hope they're okay. <laughs> like they're not real. They're not real. You took delusion to a whole new life. I did. I'm like, oh Magnolia. Like I hope they're okay. No, there's Is there another one or is that the final? That's their final. It's their oh, final. So they'll have dang. another Daisy Hayes. Uh -huh. um, I'm hoping she'll do a book for Henry. I don't know if she will. Um, Is but... Magnolia in Daisy Hayes? Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. So they cross over because um, they're two different friend groups. But you'll still get peaks of her. So I'm mm -hmm. hoping that we can get... Magnolia's my favorite. So, But I feel like a lot of people are either a Daisy girl or a mm -hmm. Magnolia girl. So if you're not a Magnolia girl... Cause she's kind of bratty. She's kind of annoying. She's kind of spoiled. But I also love you that because... you think I like Daisy? Uh... I feel like you'll like both, but you might like... I don't know. Did you like Magnolia? Yeah, she was cool. You might like Daisy better. I feel like people who aren't obsessed with Daisy... So, Daisy is more like... Like, Magnolia is kind of like... I can't even explain her. She's very, like... You know, likes to get all the girly dresses. Mm -hmm. And she's, like, very... Um, bougie. Bougie. She's very, like, my way or the highway. Mm -hmm. Daisy's, like... She's, like, going to school to be a doctor. She's, like, don't talk to me. Like, I'm a boss. Like, that kind of vibe. So, like, okay. they're completely different personalities. Okay. I literally talk about them like they're real. Like, I want to read that book again already. Would you be friends with them? Magnolia, yeah. 
Daisy, I don't know, because sometimes she just, like, says stuff, but it's because she's around, like, guys a lot, mm -hmm. and she doesn't really, like, hang out with a lot of girls, and so, like, the guys that she's around, they kind of just, like, say whatever they want whenever mm -hmm. they want, and I don't know if I'd like that. Like, mm -hmm. like you can keep some things in your head. Like, I don't need to hear that. Also, these glasses are not real, and so, like, I don't even know how to, like, work glasses. These are literally blue light glasses from uh, Pear Eyewear. I'll link a... I have a code, by the way, if you guys want them, but... I don't know how to like wear glasses. You're, you're literally doing it right. You, yeah, but they're like fogging up. Yeah. Like, how do you mine guys are, live like this? Mine aren't foggy. Uh, how do you live like this? Like when you breathe, it's like. Oh my God. Don't come for us, okay? <laughs> don't come for us unless we sin for you. Well, also like, so I was telling Brady the other night because I was like, oh, I want to bring my glasses because I feel like they're like part of my outfit and stuff. And uh, he was like. It's so funny because you look so cute with glasses and you don't even need to wear them. Yes. And he's like, and I'm wearing glasses and I look like so stupid. And I was like, okay, thank you very much. I do appreciate that. Love the compliment. But also, <laughs> I'm like, I'm learning because, like, I'm very appreciative of my vision because when I see, mm -hmm. I see this mm -hmm. all the time. So you see this. Hold on, try on mine. You so see I want you to see how bad time. my vision is. Okay. What's your prescription? It's like, I should be at like a negative three now. It's worse. You know what Brady's is? What? It's take a guess. Negative five. More. Six? More. Seven. Seven. He's legally blind. Gabe is negative five. No, almost negative six. He's negative seven. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying Whoa. to see how they look this like. This literally looks like I'm looking underwater. <laughs> <laughs> like I feel like when you're underwater and it's like all like woo, like wow. No, you look cute though. Oh my god, these are kind of cute. Though. I cannot a, yeah, see. Yeah, you need to just get a bunch I of glasses. I cannot see. I literally wow. You need to just get a bunch balls. of different shapes of frames. I should. You really Especially should. Especially with my hair back. My glasses like, are dirty. And a little claw clip. <laughs> oh my god, I was gonna wear a claw clip, but you I could have. Your hair looks so find good though. It. I was gonna wear your hair. Oh yeah, I was gonna match you. What? Oh well, I didn't know you were wearing a claw clip, but mm -hmm. I was gonna wear one too. Mm -hmm. But I forgot it at home. You know, that tie. So I was like really upset. But girl, it's. It looks so good. I literally don't do anything. The I do curls, exactly what you do. You do twist out? Yeah. The curls and then, but, like fire. And also your ends look incredible. But I clip them. Like do you really? I clip my ends like crazy. Like if I do a twist out and I see a scraggly end, I clip, clip it. it. Like I don't play. Like I, I have to your because hair looks so healthy. it's grown so much in the past few months. Really? Yes. I love I'm that. I'm trying to like do better with it, but uh, you always just had such beautiful hair. Thank you. So my sister has beautiful hair. But I shouldn't do that. No, you shouldn't. I was thank literally you. about to say that. I was literally... I have and look at you. Hair. You checked yourself Yes. Because yes. I was like, mm, just say thank you. Leave it at that. Yes. I can say that I have beautiful hair. <laughs> right. I do. You I love my hair. hair. She does too. But I'm not talking about her. <laughs> like we're talking You're about right. You. You're right. Okay. Beautiful hair. Yeah, y'all. People, I'll go into more detail about my hair eventually. But I just feel like, y'all, that's extra work. Like... <laughs> They really be wanting to see everything about your life. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like they, they, they love the books, mm -hmm. but they want to. They want that relationship. And I love they, they like they're not right there. I forgot y'all because I'm sitting in the car with my friend. <laughs> You're like they. I'm like yeah, you. <laughs> Y'all, I love that y'all want a relationship. Like, I love that. Yeah. I love that people like... Well, it's like, like when you're hanging out with a friend, and they're like, oh, where'd you get that outfit? Like, can you, like, show me, like, your links? Like, where'd yes. you get, you know, your hair stuff? It's like, literally, you feel like you're hanging out with your friends. It's yes. like the coolest thing. It's nice to always have somebody to talk to. Mm -hmm. And low-key, low-key, this is how good God is. Because, you know, Ty leaves for four months. Yeah. I, I was just telling Kendra this. I'm like, oh my god, like my best friend is leaving. Like he's mm -hmm. literally my best friend. Mm -hmm. Like literally. And I'm like, look at the Lord bringing people in my life at to the keep... right time, the right people, like people who like books, love yes, the Lord, like cause... who are similar to you. Like it's it's the yeah, coolest it's thing. So, oh my god, it's just so good. But we need to go shopping. We do. We uh, so we have no reason for being in here other than just we want to buy books. So yeah, because we really don't need any books. We really don't. Okay, what's what's next on your TBR? Like what's like the next thing that you want to read or some books that you for sure are like I want to get to 100% this year okay okay I was just gonna do this month wow <laughs> um, um the rest of the twisted series I just okay. have one more the fine part I really like fine part so you know I'm def I'm a series girl series. Series. Okay, yeah the rest of Magnolia Park series definitely that um the new one comes out in February <laughs> yes I know I need to buy them oh, wait. all I read that one already <laughs> so I'm not even excited about it <laughs> <laughs> This hussy. Oh my god, already? What a, um, the one by Kennedy Ryan. Uh, this could be us. Girl. Kennedy Ryan messaged me. She was like, hey, like, we wanted to send an ARC over. So I sent her my address. So oh, I'm about yes. to get an ARC. 
Like I and I, I thought I was gonna get one, but you know, it's like you. I never really know anything for sure yeah. until it's in my hand, you yeah. know. And like she has my address. She's like, and she actually said she's like we emailed you, but like we didn't um, get like a response in your email. So mm. you know, whatever. And I was like, dang, sorry I missed that email, but dang. yeah. So when do you get it? Do you know? I have no idea. I've been seeing that like a few um, other creators have gotten it. But there was actually this thing that she did on Kindle where you could, for 24 hours, I think she opened it up on, like, NetGalley where you could read it. And, like, anyone could read it, but it was only for 24 hours and it was before you had your Kindle. Otherwise, I would have let you, like, do it. But I, like, a lot of you guys were like, hey, it's, like, on here, you should read it. And I'm like, I'm waiting for the physical copy because I love this book so much. It was a five-star, like, book for me. So I want to make sure that I, like, just read the physical book. I want to be able to write in it if I want to, like... I know. We won't even get to read it at the same time. I know. Uh, I know. That's the only crappy part, but it's really, really good. But, but, it's like, but it'll get to a point where, like, people are also, like, asking you to. You know? So it's like, her next book, next round, I bet you'll be, like, in the No. Too. Oh, yeah, that. But I'm saying, like, I want us to experience each oh, emotion together, together, yeah. together at the same time. <laughs> so I can be like, girl, are you crying? <laughs> Yeah, I'm crying. You crying too. And this one's supposed to be like even more like emotional. And that was, you know how that had me. Yes. Like boo hooing. Like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm, I'm so excited. excited. I, cannot, I cannot. Oh my God. Wait. That I'm was gonna do such a whole an video honor. for that one. Such right? an honor. Like, and the fact that she was like, we emailed you and like we didn't get a response. So like, I wanted to reach out. And I'm like, you asked the second time. Like, if I were you, I mean, like, who am I? Who am I? Like, you're, you wrote the you're pages. Shauna Z. <laughs> yeah, that's who. Yeah. So she's going to reach out again. <laughs> I just, it is such an honor. So I, mm -hmm. I can't wait to read it and I'm going to make like a whole video like I did for Into the Dark. Um, just because it's going to be spoiler free. But I'm, I'm ready. I'm so excited. You do spoiler free with such ease. It's so freaking hard. <laughs> it is very hard because I'm like, I want to talk about all the stuff in the book. Like, I want to mm -hmm. talk about the juice. But mm -hmm. then it's like, I've thought about doing some spoiler videos but i never want like anyone to feel left out you know and there's been videos oh where... that's so sweet <laughs> well you know i'm just like there's I some cre <laughs> there's some creators <laughs> where i'm so obsessed where mm -hmm. i want to watch everything that they create oh, so yeah. if they make something that has spoilers in it like i would want to watch mm -hmm. it and i just would never want you guys to and maybe i'll add in spoilers eventually or something but like even there's some creators where they'll put spoiler free and they'll be like okay now it's like a spoiler time so like skip past this part mm -hmm. but sometimes i literally want to watch it because i just want to like get the reaction yeah i did read the book. yeah, yeah but, but you did win with uh never lying people were messaging me like well we had to cut the video off <laughs> because you said cut it off if you haven't read never lie <laughs> like, like, sorry <laughs> <laughs> go read the book <laughs> Yeah, so I don't know if I'll do that forever, but, yeah. like, I just feel like there's so many good books, and I know there's so many on my shelf. Man, this girl at the gym, she's super nice, and she was talking about how I, um, like, she didn't know that I am, like, a booktuber or mm -hmm. anything, so we started talking about books, and she was giving me book recs, and then, um, someone said something, they go, so do you get these books for free, because I had brought in, like, a stack of books, mm -hmm. like, five or six books, and they're like, do you get these books for free, or do you, like, buy them? I was like, oh, no, I, I buy these, right. like, I buy all these with my own money, and she was like, oh, like, I thought maybe you got some, like, for PR or whatever, and so then, um, the girl was like, well, what would you, like, be getting these for, and then they were like, oh, like, she's, like, on the internet and, like, talks about stuff, so she's like, well, what's your at, so then I showed her my at, and she was like, you're famous! <laughs> I was so embarrassed. I was literally like, oh that's, my God. That's like, how you are, though. I, I don't I know. know why. And then, so then, um, after she said that, she was like, it's so cool, like, meeting someone who, like, loves books. And she, she was giving me recs and stuff. And there is something so uniting about books. Like, I've never met this girl. Yes. But she started telling me the books she likes to read, the authors that she likes. And I was like, I know her. Yes. Like, I feel like I know her. Yes. It was the coolest thing. But Aww. I don't know where that was going or where that even came from. But I was just thinking about how, like, books really connect people. Literally a random girl. Never met in the gym and she just I'm like okay we're friends now like I love how humble you are I pray <laughs> I pray that when I like get to your level like the Lord like helps me <laughs> I think part of it is like I just realized that the internet is so vast like people who know nothing about books they don't care about me mm -hmm. like they don't know about me they like there's Lego creators there are fashion creators there are ASMR creators there are mukbang creators like there are 
so many different people. So I am nobody to so many people and I'm somebody to so many people. Yeah. So like, I feel like it makes me be like, they know me because they know me. But like, I think a large part is that because like God has put them in front of me, you know, mm-hmm. so it's like, not, yeah. it doesn't really feel like it's me in a yeah. way like it is, but I get what you're saying. I don't know. It helps me to have perspective. <laughs> my cousin was like, I did. She said, uh, before I started, you know, my, my, uh, Instagram, she's mm-hmm. like, Alex, it's like a whole world of people that like have books because mm-hmm. she said all their <laughs> at names were like a uh, reads with or uh, books. Yeah. Something or, she's like, everything says book or read or write or book or read or write. I said, girl, it's a whole, it's a whole world. world. Yes. She was like, I am shocked. Yes. I'm like, yeah. But people don't know because they don't know. You know, like, they're yeah. not readers. So, and there's a whole world of, like, gamers and just uh-huh. so many things. Like, yes. they know nothing about. Oh, my about. God. I walked into the movie theater the other day, and it was a girl sitting there. She was reading a book. Mm-hmm. And I said, oh, what you reading? <laughs> about you i was like uh, you gotta follow my friend you got me weak. yes yes and um she was reading what was she reading guess very <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, i said um but she was young the girl was young yeah and um she's like oh i love colleen hoover i said i'm so happy for you i bet she's a new reader yes yeah, she is yeah i was gonna say she it's, she's it's a new always reader. always a telltale sign if someone's like super like if uh, if someone asks me, like, what do you like to read? And I'm like, oh, well, like, what do you like to read? And they're like, oh, I like to read Colleen Hoover. Do you like Colleen Hoover? And I can almost always tell that they, like, just started their reading mm-hmm. journey. Which to me is like, that's great. Whatever gets you in the door. Yeah. But I can promise me, you're, promise you, you're probably not going to stay in that same spot. Like, you'll probably move a little bit. But, but how come I left the spot? I think it's because, maybe not, but... You started with other books, mm-hmm. like so. It's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't start, like a lot of people. Their gateway into getting back into mm-hmm. reading is Colleen Hoover. So Colleen okay. Hoover is like their very first book. Your okay. first book was Love and Other Words. Love and Other Words. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then your second Send one was Before tone. I Let Go. <laughs> right. So it's oh like, yeah, you had two like five star. It was books. finished before it even began. Right. Yeah. So and then you went to the Twisted series after that. Yeah. Yeah, so, like, you had... A, no, Sister Frida, then Twist... So, yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, you you had a ton of great books, whereas I feel like a lot of people... If you've never read anything, like, most people, their gateway back in is, like, Colleen Hoover. And I don't... I'm not saying Colleen Hoover's back. Because no, she's one not. thing that I will never do is slander an author. Because for me, it's like, what if I create a book and, like, the whole internet is like, this person sucks, like, da 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 Like, you know, it's like, we can... Let's let's take the author out. If you want to talk about the work and talk about like the book being bad or like whatever, that's one thing. But like, let's not be like Colleen Hoover, da da da. da. Like whatever, you know. I just it's not slander people. So anyway, <laughs> I don't think it's bad to talk bad bad about a book. Like if you, yeah, have, I don't know her personally, right? But a I lot just of, know her work. But, but a lot of people yeah. will connect authors with books, and like I've heard some people who will have like Kennedy Ryan slander, and I'm like. Hold on. Mm, excuse maybe, me. Maybe, maybe is that how excuse I feel me. about Sister Frida? Because like some of her stuff I don't like, but but you're not going to. We're not going to talk about her. Yeah. yeah okay, no, like, okay. That's Sister Frida. Okay. Like, no, okay. Like, I get what we you're don't saying. come for her. So a lot of people will just like come for the person. Mm-hmm. It's like it's just a person writing like words on paper. Yeah, it's not that true. serious. You're right. Does. I need to be a little nice. <laughs> Sir. The minute you <laughs> the minute you start having authors follow you, you realize like these are real people. Like they are real yeah. people who are just making books. Like, but, just trying to make a living off of some words on paper. That's it's true, but I did have that thought. Of. I had that thought before I, uh, you know, did my review on Verity. I was mm-hmm. like, man, but what if I wrote a book one day and people didn't like my stuff? I don't think that you shouldn't be honest. Like, I think you should definitely be honest. I'm always very honest with my ratings. Like, if something's two stars, it's two stars. Like, We Were Liars, not the book for me. Mm-hmm. I don't think that I can really empathize with billionaires fighting over money and like mm-hmm. that's the biggest crux of the book like it was this book about um the grandpa was about to die and mm-hmm. they had this um mansion that they had to give away mm-hmm. and they were trying to figure out what sibling it goes to i'm like i like i don't right. care like you right. guys are all rich so whoever right. gets it you're still going to be in a great place financially right. like there's just some books um 
that I just don't like. But to me, right. it's like, I can talk about how much I don't like the book, but what I'm not going to talk about is the writing is trash. Like, you know, this is elementary. This is... Oh, know? yeah. Like, I don't that do that. Like, you know, I hate when people do that. Yeah. So, like, because then you're talking about the reader, too. It's yeah. like, oh, this person's dumb for reading yeah. it. It's like, no, you can read whatever you want. You can yeah. read your smut. You can read your graphic novels. You can read your... Yeah. Somebody wants to off somebody. Like, if that's what you like, that's what you like. Yeah. Like, that's fine. But... I don't know, it's just words on paper. I think sometimes yeah. people get a little too in their feelings about... Yeah, well, I was going to say... Um, <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, this sucks. No, no, I was going to say that if I wrote a book and people didn't like my book, I think I'd get to the point where I'd be like, well, that just must not have been the book for them. Yeah. Like, I, I'm yeah. just like, you know, like, and I feel like that with Verity, like, that's probably the only book mm -hmm. that I've read that I just dislike so much. And my niece, she's the one that brought it to my attention. Mm -hmm. She said that, Alex, maybe the author did her job. Because you're still talking mm, about it, mm, and you're still thinking I didn't even about think the book. About that. She's 15. She was like, Is she a reader? Yes. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I feel like readers are so smart. Uh, like, they think so deeply about things. And I was like, dang, that's probably true. And she was like, the writer did exactly what she was supposed to do. Well, even with the ending, you know, that's I know. That's peed me off the, the most. The ending, I swear she wanted the people to, like, just talk because there was no, like, like, you say that there's no ending, but it's like, okay, manuscript or letter, but it's like, we kind of know what happened, but, like, everyone's like, well, maybe it was this instead, and I feel like she did that because she, like, wanted us to be, like, not arguing, but kind of, like, you know. And yeah, in that personality test that I just took, it, mm -hmm. that was one of the questions. It was like, do you like authors that give you exactly what happened at the end, or you have to make up what happened mm -hmm. at the end? I said, ew! <laughs> so that's part of my personality! That's why I didn't Which one do you like? It. Do you like it? They give Tell me. It? What's yeah. going to happen? Like, <laughs> Tell me. Yeah. Uh -uh, but we got to go in the store. We do. We do. Oh, gonna... I know a girl had um, said in my Q&A, she was like, would you stop reading would you not read a book of somebody that behaved badly? Mm -hmm. I said, if I bought it, sweet, and buy it, I'm reading it. <laughs> but if but if you know, you're not going to buy yeah. it again. But it's also but if like, I already, bought, I already it. bought it, I gave them the money. Yeah. But I will say, like, I think I like when people, like, give me information that I didn't know mm -hmm. about. It's my car. Oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like, you can't even see the window stuff foggy. Um, but I like when, like, you guys will give me information, but, like, I am not checking in on these people. Yeah. You know, I don't, I don't know their lives. Like, they went to Montana on this weekend, and, like, I... I have no idea. Not Montana. <laughs> Lord bless them. All right, let's go inside this bookstore. It's Sister Kristen. Yeah, hopefully she's in here. You think she's going to give us good Rex? She gave she us Rex last this. time, and we have not read them no. yet. No. What did she give you last she time? She understands. Um, icebreaker mm. and if something, but I had put it back. I think I heard that that book's super spicy. Icebreaker? No, the other one. Well, ice, Icebreaker God. definitely I'm is. trying to calm down on the smut, but it's not working. <laughs> I love it. I changed my um, bio. With a little bit of smut. Yeah, yeah. Like a, on Instagram, it's like a Jesus girl with a little bit of smut. Yeah, like I was that. like, that was so they cute. know what they're getting over right. here. Like, well, one of you guys did ask, you were like, um, they asked me, and I think they asked in your Q&A too, um, they asked if, um, what did they say? Something about like being convicted for uh -huh. smut or something. I'm like, I can't tell you what you're convicted uh -huh. of. Like, I can't tell you anything about your life, what you should or shouldn't do, because I am not the Lord on high. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know what is your crux, trigger, nothing. So you got to figure out all that on your own because you're grown. Um, but I think that that's just something you have to think about. And it's interesting how, like, people and their own views mm -hmm. on books and, like, what's good and what's bad. Yes. Like, everyone has a different view, you yes. know, what they want. So Yes, but if you ever see me reading a black author and it's smut, pray for me <laughs> because that's really the only time that you know the lord is like put it down but what's interesting though is like everyone's definition of smut is different mm -hmm. you know because like some people will be like well kissing or like you know like but it's different no i get it I like understand. some people will be like detail no mm -hmm. detail but like if they're in the act like it all is like subjective so yeah. you don't want to tell them that because they'll be like well in that book they did make out and it's like well if that's they, not what i'm talking about well, if they touching each other <laughs> No, because they really will. They'll come for you. I time. know. That's why I'm like, you But you I think know. it's funny. I think it's so funny. Like, I, did you watch my one video with Target? Uh, when I, I watched Gabe, every video. When yours. I took Gabe to. Uh, yes, girl, I commented. I watched no, every you video. Did, you did? Yes, I, I tried did. to. I thought I went through all the comments. No, I, 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 did. I watch and comment on every single video. Oh. I'm, I'm your cheerleader. I'm hyping you up. A girl in the comments, she put, wow, it's just shocking to me that. In that target, you said you didn't find anything that was for you or something like that. Like, she was just, like, coming for me. Mm -hmm. And I said, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> I said, 
that because every book that I saw, I already own. Yeah. So, no, there was nothing in the store for me. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't like that. Like, yeah. every book I picked up, I already had it. Like, mm-hmm. I mean, you bought me every good book. That, I bought that so me. many books. So, it's like, I didn't like that. Like, don't be like, well, I'm, like, ungrateful because that Target had books. Like. Yeah. It is. <laughs> that is one thing. Is like... I'll, be, I'll be coming back. She's like, no, don't do it. <laughs> And will and y'all bet not be in her content because I'm gonna come for you too. <laughs> that's, that's my fingers typing away because you sweet. She it is, is so, so sweet. funny how different our personalities are, and it's funny that our different. We have a difference in personalities, but also a difference in like books that we like to read. Yeah, it's just so funny how that works. Like I like the fluffy and like the just different, but we do have some that we really like. What. You gotta read fast, please. Yes, next. I brought it with me. Okay. It's literally with me. If you're not in a good place to read it, then don't read I'm it. In a pretty good mood. But yeah, I would say if you're in a good mood, then definitely read. Maybe wait till summertime. I feel like the hard books that I have, like if they're really triggering, something about summer. Like a lot of people want to read like fluffy books in the summer. I need that in the winter. Like when I'm down bad and I'm like, you know, in my like winter blues, like I need some sun. That's when I'm pulling out like the beach reads and stuff. Yeah. But in the summer, I feel like I read the stuff that's like heavy, heavy. Yeah. Cause it's sunny out. I can sit outside. It just makes me feel a little better. Cause yeah. I'm like, close the book and I'm like, ah, it's summer, you know? But also it took me forever to read only for the weekend. That was turned out to be my favorite book that I've that ever read. That is very true. So I need to hurry up Favorite book ever? Literally, that's five star read. We'll read. God, if, I, I plan to read it again this month before the month is out. Like, I, and this is the thing about black romance. Mm. First, I want to say anyone who asks me why you like need black romance, why I talk about it, da, da, da. There is something about being represented in a book that I can't even explain. And the best way to explain it to people who don't get it, because I've, like, shared some stuff where people will be like, oh, like, why would you need that? Like, we can just read whatever we want. Like, imagine you're a female and you work in an all-male dominated workspace. You're around men all the time. And then you get into the girls' bathroom and there's a bunch of girls. Like, you know, just that feeling that you get in there? That's how it feels when you find a book where you're represented because, like, you're connecting to someone who's so much like you. Um, I don't know. There's just something, like, so special about it. And I feel like it's great whenever people are just reading to read, you know, whatever. But I feel like when you read, like, Only for the Week or you read Before I Let Go and you're like, Ooh, like that's me. You like, can hear. You can, you can literally hear yourself. Literally hear hear yourself and heal yourself. <laughs> but like, that was good. like, come on, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just literally. It's it's yes, such an incredible experience. It really is. Like, man, I think we. I think yeah, we had after I read only for the week. I wasn't even done. And I called you because mm-hmm. I was just like, oh my gosh. And I think you told me about the Britney. Um, did you tell me about Britney? Um. Cherry is that her name? Yeah, I think you told me about her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, then like too, her books are so good because it was just—it's just amazing to be able to hear my voice, and I think that's why my two top favorite books are Before I Let Go and Only for the Week is because I can relate to them. Mm-hmm. Like <laughs> we've been saying, we're gonna go in here. It's been so. Oh my god! This yes. video might be the longest video that we've oh ever god because it's already been like an hour. I think. Y'all, I'm gonna vlog too over on my channel, but y'all definitely not getting this car conversation because. Yeah, I'm going to link much. her channel, and when's your video going on? I'll just make it come out, because I do twice a week. I don't have set days. Okay. So, I'll just put it out whenever you put your Okay, I'm going to have mine. Um, This one, I think, will go up on Tuesday, so. Okay, that's fine. I'll put mine All up. right, see you guys inside. <laughs> okay, where are we going first? Are we going to go to Thrillers, or are we going to go to... <laughs> We're always acting up whenever we get in here. We gotta find Sister Christy. We know where she's at. Okay, well, can we go to Thrillers first, though? Yeah. Can we go there next? Okay. Because she's a... Uh, yeah, she'll be... She's always in the same section. I love that. Oh, my God. I've been recording this the whole time on my phone, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want to just... Amateur. I just want to look and see what Thrillers... I want to read more fiction this year, and I said this last time that I was in here, and then I literally didn't pick up anything from fiction. And, uh... What the heck? I didn't realize the fiction section was this long, guys. Okay, we are we in. Were, were over there. They were. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Girl, you. I love this outfit. Yeah. yeah. The vest is. <laughs> the vest is giving. <laughs> it is booty giving. Booty. <laughs> <laughs> it's, the booty is bopping. Oh, girl, Alex, I just bought this book, and I did not know that this book is horror. 
It's horror. It's you horror. No, I know. We don't do horrors. No, I've never done. Maybe this will be my first. But look at this. There's like no dialogue in here. There's literally no dialogue in here. I'm so cold. Are you cold? I'm cold. So I decided not to wear a coat in here because I was like, oh, it's gonna be hot. <laughs> your mama would whoop your tail. Oh, she sure would. She <laughs> honestly sometimes I'm like. I'm an adult. It is so nice. I can eat ice cream on bed. Like, I don't have to wear slippers in the house. She used to be like, put the slippers on. Uh, you're going to get sick. Your feet cold. But then I'm kind of like, well, you were actually right. Like, I probably should put that coat on. But yeah, I didn't know that this was horror. Shoot. Well, it might be my first horror. I've heard that this is a really good one. Don't do it. Maybe. Maybe I'll uh, keep it. Maybe I won't. This, Where I is the... Is it? Remember, we were right over here. It's in this side. Why do I feel like we're in a whole new store? <gasps> Alex, can we go to the young adult? We never go to the section when we're in here. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> there is a whole section we've literally never been into. I didn't remember us coming over here. We, huh? We never go to this side. I know, literally never. Look at all of these. <gasps> this looks cute. Oh my gosh. We never come over here on this side. <laughs> What? It's like survival. Oh my God, that is not. It does not win. sound like that. <gasps> Alex, that looks so cute. Alex, look, this is by um, Alicia Keys. I don't like Girl Alicia Keys. Why? Why? And she really can't sing. Alex, <laughs> what were you talking about? Not talking about the movie. <laughs> not her character. She's probably a good person. <laughs> I'm talking about her job. <laughs> This girl is on fire. Now that song was good. Yeah. Let's see what else there I is. I still think here. this book is so cute. That is. It's such a cute cover. I might buy my niece a book while we're here. You should. You should take a picture with that book too. That's cute. Oh my gosh, guys. How have we never come? Look at this. Alex, look at this book. Jumped by Rita Garcia. This is cute. I think this is like middle grade though, because there's like a difference in YA. Like some books are like young, young. Like this right here. I have this book. <laughs> I have this book. And this is about a dance called Last Night Dance. <laughs> it's about a dance, and the girl chooses the guy who she wants to go with her to the dance. And so there's like a bunch of guys she goes on dates with to decide who she wants to pick. It's giving like Disney Channel. Like it's, Ooh, it's love Disney. Three weeks, four days, one last chance for love. Alex, <laughs> you said one more negative thing. Okay, like, okay. 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 <laughs> you're like, I'm not sorry. Alicia Keys. She can't sing. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, I'm not Disney. I'm one sorry. Thing to the kids. <laughs> I love their shows. Just not the trauma. That they is cause. true. They do give a lot of trauma, guys. Actually, allegedly. Allegedly, okay. Disney, don't come for me. I love this book. Like, this book is so good. Right? Not. Do not no, come for me. I mean, you guys are great. <laughs> Allegedly. Let's see. Oh my gosh. These are all young adults. Which you, one? Did you read this one? I did. did you tell me that? Love oh, okay, that. Okay. Yeah, it was such a good. They actually turned it into a movie. Oh my god! Is that where I heard of it? Probably. What? It's uh, so good. Uh, uh, do you know the ending then? No. Okay. Good. It, you can still, you should I read it. I bought this for my auntie just because you said it. <gasps> oh, that one's kind of triggering. But I really secretly bought it for myself. <laughs> that one's kind of triggering too. Is it? Yeah, it's like actually kind of triggering. And they they uh, just came out with the second one. So this <laughs> yeah. is the box set. And she was holding up the way I used to be right here. And this is the first one, this is the second one, the way I am. And she goes through, I think you can see it actually on the back. She goes through something hard. I don't want to say what it is, but... Her hardship. <laughs> no, I was admiring how cute you looked like with your glasses oh, and your dress and the books behind you. you. It was such a vibe. Thanks. I was like, she's giving. <laughs> but she goes through something really hard and then this book is like her kind of trying to get her life together mm -hmm. after the hard thing. It's so good. You'll definitely cry reading that book. Like it is, oh. it is so We love a book that makes us cry. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what else we got. Oh my gosh. I can't believe we've never come into this section. Guys, like, I'm a vlog of it eventually. Y'all, you need to hound her in her comments to like tell her to God, vlog. we're not in my section yet. Now when we get to the <laughs> toxic love. Oh my gosh, there's all this side too. Kiyoshi. What the heck? Oh, this right is here. science fiction and fantasy. It's Kiyoshi. You look so cute over here. <laughs> I'm gonna have you get a picture of me. Oh my gosh. How we've literally come here like three times. Are we just never are we never is this and what we, we are decide? rushing too? And we were rushing last time. Are we never coming or going back to Books a Million? Do you 
Do you like Barnes better than Book yes. Million? Like officially? Yes. What is it do you think that makes you like it better? The I like it better. The price. Remember whenever I like, when you were like, I think I like Books a Million. Literally she said that and I was like ready to fight her. But also I said I think it was my trauma. <laughs> that is true. I'm not used to change. You but once I get used to it. So now you're, you're used to Barnes and yeah. you don't want to go back? I don't want to go back. <laughs> I do really enjoy Barnes. Yeah, Barnes is the best. Barnes is so fun. Well, I guess let's go over to, uh, oh, look at this one. This is cute. I love fluffy books like this. The Homecoming War. This is so cute. All's Fair in Love and Hoko. I feel like books like that give me a lot of nostalgia. I told you I knew where the thrillers were. Where is it at? Now I'm leaving you to stuff. <laughs> Show me, sis. <gasps> look at all these books. Oh my gosh. I get distracted on the way. Where are the thrillers at? It's where I'm almost at. We're getting there. I feel like the. Is this side of mysteries and thrillers. And I feel like the romance is calling us. Yes. <laughs> like I can see they it over there, this. and I want to go buy this. There. Did you like it? Yes, oh. but they don't see what book you guys show there. them the book. Okay, okay. Yes, but the Ooh. ending it feels cheap. The feels ending. Cheap. The ending was not what I wanted it to be. Oh, so I won't like I rated it, it 3.5. So I won't like it. You won't dislike it. Like, it's just. Typically, when you rate something a 3.5, <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> if it's a five star, then I know it's good. Yeah. But like, like, I feel like I've never, I've never rated a thriller five star. I rated I thrillers either. four stars. Well, Never Lie um, was probably like a five for me. You think? Well, no. You would like read like it again. I feel like thrillers are hard to like get like yeah. that feeling because it's like you're not gonna want to read again. Like with yeah. only for the week, you like want to read that next month. Yeah. You know? So, yeah. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Maybe I'll find a five star thriller one day, but I just never have. But it was good. It just was. The ending was weirder than I thought it would be. It wasn't okay. bad, it was just like different. I do want to read more, like I, immediately after I finished this book, okay. I wanted to read more books from this author. So okay. he is an incredible like author. They're very like fast paced. You know what I want? I so want to start reading thing. books by male like romance authors. Do you really? I, hmm. I do because um, of course we like how women write about men. We do. but Because they're but, from a woman's perspective. But are men gonna write about women, or are men gonna write about men in the way that women want? That's the whole point. Out. That's the whole point. I feel like they're not. I want it to be more realistic. <laughs> like I'm a Delulu enough. <laughs> I don't need to keep reading about it. Like, so what do you want it to be like then? I want it to be real life. Like I want it to like. I know a billionaire is not gonna come. And <laughs> <laughs> I know a billionaire is not gonna come and sweep me up off my feet. But I mean, he can. So you maybe, want him to be like a he cashier maybe work, at Walmart? He could be a carpenter. Like he could work a, a nine to five. Girl. He might. He might put. A, hammer in the wall like you know just something like that and then you know maybe he saw me walking down the street and then stopped when he was like building a building see or this something. already isn't realistic because that nope. carpenter he's dirty like Ooh, he has yes. it. We love a dirty man. he does not have time to stop he's eating lunch in his car he's not like stopping to no. talk to you on the street no. who's being negative now <laughs> We I'm, need. We need the. I'm Delulu. telling you, my fantasy. We, we need the Delulu. It's getting there. Okay. Okay. So I'm walking down the street and I trip. Oh, he sees me. He runs over to me and says, "Ma'am, ma'am, ma'am." I'm like, "Oh, sir, did my afro hit you?" No, in your you know face? what? You know what he does? He whistles at you. Goes. <laughs> no, and then he, laughs at you. When no, he falls. because he's a gentleman. Okay. He's All a right. gentleman. See, this he, is this is the Delulu coming out no, because you no. do not want to read real. You want to no. read something no. that's real. <laughs> No, and so then he comes over and he says, Man, and then he looks me in my eyes. He looks me in my eyes. And he says, oh, and I say, oh, and he says, I think I might have found the love of my life. Girl, this is fake. <laughs> this is not real. That is not going to happen. That is not going to happen. She wants to read a romance written by a woman. I have to. Here's your, uh, my, my your intro. To Where's the rest of them? She's by herself. Do they not have any more? Of they this? don't have the second one. Dang. Unless they just popped her there to pop her there. To pop her there. <laughs> Dang. Maybe it's sold out or something. I don't know, sweetie. Oh, they have more over here. Oh, yeah. Here they are. They're all over here. I still have not read The Locked Door. Me either. Or The Coworker. And Ella just bought me The Coworker. Did she? She's like, tell her I bought you a book, too. Girl, Ella needs to calm down. <laughs> like, Ella needs to calm down. No, I like Ella. I haven't even met her, but I like her. <laughs> yes, She's you nice. would love her. 
there's so many like so many thrillers in here that I already own. <laughs> Didn't you buy this one last time or no? I I already own it. I just haven't read it yet. That was the one that I was saying um, is similar to. Should I start pulling it out when I say that so your people can? Yes. See? <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Because they're like, did you buy that one? I'm like, what's that? Failing fuck? over here. Like, I do not remember what she was pointing at. Okay. Well, I feel like I've seen my my fair bit of uh, thrillers. Are we gonna leave? We're gonna leave with at least one book today. Oh, for sure. Oh, okay. Oh, we can for never sure. come here and not buy at least one. No. I think that should be a rule going forward. That, that's not a hard rule to follow. Like the the bad rule to follow is leaving with like ten books. Yeah, like if if we leave with five or less, that's a win. Yeah, the first time you brought me to the bookstore, we left with how many? You bought me eight books that day. Yeah, and you got two. We're just not in our section, so you're like, oh, it's like easy. Like we should at least have one. I'm like, once Wait, we <gasps> once we get listen, over there, what? I think I bought my like first like regular not bought, but somebody bought it for me. You'll see in the video tomorrow. Um, perfect, the perfect match. The perfect match. What is that? Is that by Phillip? Sarah Adams? Is that her name? Oh, fluffy romance. Yes, I got my first fluffy romance. Oh guys. my gosh! Huh? Dang. Did. Okay. Try I'm trying to. <laughs> <laughs> this is not. I'm trying to put it up there. But so, um, I read the back of it. Like okay. you'll see it in the video tomorrow. And oh my god, I fell in love. Doesn't like, it look good? Yeah. Did you read it? No, because it's the second book in the series. I did not know that. <laughs> Can I buy the first one today? The perfect match, or is it practice makes perfect? Practice makes perfect. Yeah. The practice first one is win it wrong. Yes. That's what she was trying to tell me, <laughs> Sister Kathy. Because I made my Amazon wish list. People already start buying me freaking books. Yeah. Off my wish list. Yeah. And um, she was like, That's uh, so nice, guys. That is so nice. But I didn't know that was a second one. That's why she said, You should read Win It Wrong. It's yep. so good. Yeah, because like, like, that's the first one. <laughs> it was a good. I haven't read it. I read the cheat sheet by that author. It was cute. But that's what I was going for. I it wanted cute. it to be cute. So this um, book, someone told me, was a five-star thriller for them. And we were talking at the airport. I saw your eyes light up. You're like, mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> and we were talking at the airport. And we were just talking about books that we liked. She was in um, the airport bookstore. And she was like, yeah, you know a five-star thriller that I read? And she showed me this one. It's so last year, still haven't read it yet. So I need to read it. And she said it was five she star said, for she's her, a but big, what is she? But she's a big, she's a big thriller reader. What's it called? It's called All, All Good, Good People, People Here. I haven't mm -hmm. read it. I'm not interested. <laughs> it's called All Good People Here. She mm -hmm. said that this is five star. And it's like a 4.2 on Goodreads, I think. Oh, like you said, I don't listen to that anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, the more I read, I've learned that. Because everybody's... Have different yes, and now I everybody love Twisted Games mm -hmm. so much, like they rated that the best, mm -hmm. and everybody hated Twisted Hate. Really? Oh, yeah, yeah that's the least like, favorite. I like that one. You didn't read Twisted Hate, you read Twisted Love. Twisted Love, everyone hated Twisted Love too. Yes, and but I was like, I think that yeah, was bad. and I was like, wait a minute, I'm not listening to these people anymore. <laughs> but then I learned when you're reading a book, everybody's getting different things out of them. Yes, I prefer character development. Yes, if you don't care about that, of course, you're not going to rate it. A and high I book. feel like you also connect with books based on your life experience yes. too. So it's like, I like that because mm -hmm. this character is like me or yes. whatever. So. so it's hard to go off people's recommendations for because, sure. Baby, you don't have my trauma. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God, my abs hurt. <laughs> <laughs> like they hurt so bad. Ooh, what's our section? Ah. I'm just happy to bask in this area. Where is Christy? Watch her not be working today. Alex, what if she's not working today? This area. I said, what if she's not working today? What? <laughs> Right, excuse me. We just need her to tell us what books to read. Oh my god. Someone decided, like, last. This is not dark romance. Yeah, someone. Look, they got candles in here. What the heck? Where's my dark romance? Look, they. Where's my dark romance? They moved everything. They got candles. Right? She's like, this isn't my core. What is this? This isn't even dark romance. They got like candles in here. These are like these like short books. This isn't our bookstore. This isn't our bookstore. Like dark romance books here. Yeah, but it's not over there. They moved everything. <sighs> It's giving I read books, and maybe I'm rich too. It's giving I live in a uh, cornfield. 
I live in Illinois. You're so cute. Where is uh, where is <gasps> Christy? <Yes. laughs> we were literally just saying, where is Christy? Yes. And we said, <laughs> even if we had to find out where you live, sis, we just gonna find you. <laughs> 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 She's like, I'm scared. We found it, guys. This is about all you're gonna get from me, so uh, <laughs> I might pull you out again a little bit, but go over to Shaughnessy's channel if you wanna see our <laughs> But look, Shaughnessy, I learned how to work it. Oh, cool, you I love it. it. It looks really good. Yeah. Your lighting looks great. Yeah, awesome. She has a Sony ZV-1. Yes, and I love it. It's, I and love I it. usually was a Canon girl. No, that's, I love it. But don't stun on my Canon, because I like my Canon too. I love Canon, her Canon's beautiful. Look guys, yeah, this is what y'all don't see. This is behind the scenes. This is where it be at when we be talking, just be sitting on these shelves. Yep. Right here, right there. Or holding it with my arms. Man, my arms like alter in so <laughs> much pain. Not Pilates, guys. Don't do Pilates right before you go to a bookstore. You gotta hold stuff. This is giving my type of book. Oh, it's thick. It's thick and cute. Like, oh, talky. It's floppy. Yeah. This is like everything. Ooh, Penelope Doug Devil's Night Novel. No, thank you. Uh, excuse me. No, thank you. Let's see what else we got. There's so much stuff here that's new. Holy cow, look at this. So I actually bought this uh, book and I bought the first one, but I wasn't really like, didn't love it. I didn't read it, <laughs> but it's like a dark romance. And I didn't know that when I bought it. Mm -hmm. And this is book four and now the cover is making me want to buy it. Where is my dark Keeping is 13. I don't know. Time. We need to ask her. You're like, this is not it. Is it around the corner? Go check. <laughs> Guys, I want to get Keeping 13. I can't remember if I bought this or not. I think I didn't. Um, but I want to get this because I've heard that... <laughs> I've heard that this uh, whole series is like really good, so I think that I'm gonna get this other one. <laughs> I'm coming! I'm coming! Is Sister Chrissy's hair giving? Yeah, it's it's literally. It looks so good. You're welcome. You curled it too. It looks good. The bangs. Your bangs are coming. The bangs are giving, sis. Okay, Christy, I have to ask you. Okay. What is your Goodreads? Everybody's like, police. Yes. Why is there Goodreads? Like, I'm about to be like, Dang, just. I don't know. I'm on there. Unless, unless you don't want to give it out. No, no, okay. that's fine. People are like, please ask her next time. I'm like, I will. We're good, yeah. Everyone loves your recommendations. Oh, thank you. That's awesome. <laughs> oh my god. That's it. It's Christy Ehlers. Chrissy, okay, I want to take a picture of that. Do it. I feel like I need it because you give good recs and I don't want to wait a whole month to get <laughs> You're going to have a bunch of new friends who are That's following you. That's fine. Your yes, they love you. Yeah, they're they obsessed. love you. They said you need to start a YouTube. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> She's like, no. Yes. Okay, we need more recommendations. Okay, so how did we do with what I gave you the last time? Well, <laughs> we love it, but we haven't read it yet. But you know, <laughs> the next ah. ending, what is it, TBR? TBR. Uh, yeah. So you need to get a TBRB, a to be read bookcase. Ooh. I, I have a book. I do. I have one of those. You're so getting have, so mine, big mine, that it's like. Mine are big. Like this big. Oh, yeah. sweetie. Oh. It's okay. It's functional as art. And then when you're bored and you don't want to deal with people, you can just go to your browser. How many books have you read in the last month? Mm, current is 39. In a month? It does. Yeah. Not last year because I started working. The year before that, I read 732. That is crazy. Yeah. Slight flex, sis. Slight flex. <laughs> that is crazy. But Thank I'm still on my toxic kick, you know? I still like a toxic love. Okay. Hey, you just, you're still going to a Twisted series. And she really yeah, I'm trying that. to take my time because I'm trying to, like. Have you read Hooked yet? <laughs> no. I just read Fine Print, though. Well, I'm almost That's done. not the same. She's author. like, that's. Not what, I, not what I told you. Okay, well, you told me the hook the time before. Yeah, have you read it? No, because I'm on TBR. You got to get in line. <laughs> no. Okay, so you did this, this wrong. You're supposed to get like a vase or a fish bowl and just okay. write them all in and okay. then and dump it around and you pull yeah. one out. But I'm a big mood reader. So well, sometimes that's fine I when want not, happy love. Yeah, no, when you're not in the mood, just have your different bowls. And just put one. I like that idea. Yeah, I don't know. See, and you dress them up with ribbon and sparkles, and it can be part of your display. I so like that. That's what I do. That's a good idea. I will take pictures of my bookshelves, and the next time you need ladies come in, okay. I'll share. So do you work like every Saturday? Every Saturday. Oh. 
No, it's okay because I have Sunday off, which is nail care and breakfast with booze day. So. Did you just get your nose pierced too, or was it always pierced? It's always been pierced. Well, I'm just you were very thing. observant. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, look at your hair, your nose. Like, <laughs> and see, do you I work on it today? Where do you live? It's like, all right. All right calm down. My blood type is. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay, you know what? I will leave the conversation. <laughs> no, it's all good. So yeah. we've got some new reasons since you were last here. Uh -huh. So uh, we got the Shayna Rose. Oh, I, so you moved the, um, yes. all of the uh, dark romance over here. Yeah, because I was running out of real estate over there. Oh, so there's like a lot more space over here. all me. I did all of this. <gasps> it looks so good. Yeah. So we have spicy into your rom-com and then <gasps> traditional. Do you feel like people come over here more than they did over there? Or not really? Or it's about no, the same? they are. Are they? Yeah. I love that. That's awesome. Now you can see it. Yeah, it's not like in the corner, like, don't read this. Exactly. Like, That's where I put my sad mess markets. Right. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure people aren't going over to like not that really. nearly as much. Well, they prefer the larger um, sized books. Yeah. So they're easier to read. Yeah. You don't drop them in the bathtub as easy. For sure. So, yeah. Um, Lucy Score has a new one, The Worst Best Man. Oh, she does. Yes. Is this new or is it just a new uh, yeah, cover? Out, like two weeks ago. <gasps> like brand, brand, brand new? Brand, brand new. <gasps> Ooh. Yes. And then Elsie Silver's Hopeless is now out in print that we can get in. <gasps> so those are spicy. Where is I that one? I didn't want to hear or here. Oh, I, I didn't want to read which. It was by her. Every, no, no, it's not by her. Redesign, is that what it's called? Love Redesign, Love that's by Lauren Asher. That's Lauren Asher. Oh, that's still Lauren Asher uh -huh. too? Yeah. Oh, dang. Like, I right hate there, that I get hooked on like cover. one author because I feel like I don't get to experience. Yeah, you're a big series person. Like, yeah, I don't you, like that. No, that's good though, because like if you like I'm someone, sorry. you like them. I'm so sorry, sis. Didn't see either. Yeah, if you no. like someone, you like them. It's not bad. Spicy, sweet hometown. That's why I suggested her to you. Yeah, no, you're so you're a good. Not toxic enough for me. Oh no. <laughs> no, um, that was, that was it was cute. Chloe Walsh. See. She's toxic. And have you read this? She did say that last time. No, and I don't like the title. That was the one with the four guys in it. Yes. Oh yeah, I'm not interested. <laughs> she literally digs herself out of her own grave in the first paragraph. No. <laughs> you said you wanted toxic and dark. Not that. I'm no. I'm bringing it. I like toxic. You like dark. I just want a little toxicity and they get You're like, I need it in the middle. middle. Yeah. Um. Okay, then Sophie Lark is your gal. I told you to read real quick. I've been trying. I just can't get into it. Oh, really? Yeah. You started it already? Yes, and I just cannot get into Fun it. Fun like, fact, you don't need to read these in order because I do that all the time. So that so one's better, like maybe the second Some are better than it. others. But look, they come with pictures. Yeah, I know. Brutal Prince came with pictures. Oh, and they just did nothing that. for me. Right? And smell it. And I heard that <laughs> like, I heard that it wasn't a, I heard that it wasn't a real mafia. Like he wasn't a real like he wasn't trying to kill people for her. Uh, like he just talked about it. Uh, I don't know about that. I mean, I mean, I'm don't not tell me. Spoil don't anything, tell me. but yeah, I don't know where you're getting your information. <laughs> yeah, that oh, they, for real? they definitely. <laughs> they definitely. I mean, okay, then there's Evil Boys. What is that one? Clarissa Wilde. Ooh, it looks it looks dark. It is. Let's see. Ooh. So. Your face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is this one about, let me see. You say you want dark, but I'm feeling that maybe. I just, maybe never, not too I, dark. I, I literally just said I don't want dark. I just want toxic with a little boom boom. I read that it is very much toxic. Yes. <laughs> but was it scary? No. Yes. Well, to scary to an extent. Give me more <laughs> scary. Okay, it's scary and it's toxic. Gangsters, how about that? That's yeah. scary. Oh, so that's not bad. That's we're not like taking, we're not talking. Uh -uh. <laughs> you're like, no. Mm -hmm. All right, you're getting picky now, Alex. That's good, right? I don't know. <laughs> I am getting picky, but only because I know what I like. And I don't want to buy a book if I know I'm not going to That read is it. true. I feel like when you first started reading, you were like, I don't really know, so you took mm -hmm. everything. I feel like you have yeah. a good idea now. Yeah. I, I, I keep forgetting you're, you're a bit of a newbie. Yeah, but like only three that. months in. That. But you're sticking with it, so, you know, I'm there for you on that. How about Black Ties, White Lies? Have you picked that one up? No, I have not even read the back. Look. Ooh. Oh. I've heard Kat Singleton. Doesn't she uh, write... Um, I feel like she has like a some kind of cowboy romance or something or no? She might. Okay. I feel like I've I have Your ex-boyfriend's older brother. Yeah. 
She's so there's like, a little oh. bit of the taboo. A little bit. You're like, oh, I like that. Should we get in that? You have a lot of new books that we did not see this last time. I okay. love this. Yeah. There's a lot of books here. What, which are the other new ones that came out? Like in the fluffier side. Fluffier so you know that that's you know that that's my. I think I'm gonna yeah. This one. Okay. So we've got the night shift. They get locked in a um, library. Ooh. So what do they do in the library? They this talk? is fluffy. This is for me. This is for me. This is for me. No, well, they do have conversations. Oh, okay. but, yeah. I mean, do you think they should make a toxic version? No. That's no, leave my books alone, Alex. <laughs> let me let me have my fluff. Um, there's Mr. Hockey. Oh, I don't think I've seen that one. No, this is new. <gasps> That's cute. And it's small, so if you're not really wanting to commit to a big one, it's less than uh, 200 pages. Let me see that one. This and looks I think cute. It's cute. It smells really good. For fans, sparks fly between a hockey player with a is dirty mouth and an awkward bookworm. <gasps> on the other side. Mm, that smells good. I have a dark romance cute. end cap on the flip side. Let me have see. you read LJ LG Shane? I'm feeling very like disappointed. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Girl, go get your books. Let's see. Oh, this looks cute. Crave and Torn by Monica Murphy. There's so many new books here. This is like a secret society. Yeah. And it's called the Devil's Night series. Mm -hmm. I inhaled it. Did you read a uh, birthday girl by her too? I did. I read did you like that one? Everything. Yes. She gets flack for that one, but I have to tell you that um, a good age gap, which is what it is, uh -huh. can be, and if it's done right, it can be. It's good. I haven't read that one yet, but it's on so, my TBR. Yeah. It's, I feel like you'd like Penelope Douglas, because, like, maybe not Credence, Credence, but maybe something else by her. Because her stuff is supposed to be, like, taboo, but it's like, it reminds me of, um, what's the uh, author? Um, so, they wrote Still Beating. A Jennifer Hartman. Yes, yeah, so it's like, that's taboo, but it's like... So do you think that um, Lauren Asher like really wishes that she got somebody that was a billionaire? Uh. Cause why does she write like all these series like? <laughs> she might have. That might be her little childhood dream. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, she has like five books, billionaire books. You really like her books, though. Do you think that those books? I've only like, read one. And you enjoy it? Yeah. But, but she's shaking her head no. I'm feeling <laughs> like, not sad. that much. Why? I just am not. <laughs> <gasps> you not find anything? No, so, nothing is like making me excited. Well, I'm going to cry. Well, Alex! Don't. Okay, oh, so... Oh, that's what's wrong with me. <laughs> yeah, take that out of the equation. <laughs> right? I'm just saying. It visits every year, or every month. So. <laughs> we gotta come a different week. Exactly. <laughs> Damaged goods. It's the four, it says number four. You don't need to read them in order. Again. <laughs> Listen, I work in a bookstore, so you'd think I'd be able to get my act together. <laughs> um, but did you feel, very, did you very, feel very like you should have read the Twisted series in order? Because I feel like you should have read that in order. I don't feel like those were true standalones. Because in Twisted Hate, they literally told you everything that happened from Twisted Love. Hmm. I didn't read the Twisted Love ser the Twisted series out of order. I read the See. fine print one out of mm. order. You could now the read fine the, print one, that seems you like, could probably you probably read know, that out of order. Yeah. yeah so, okay, I guess I trust you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> She's like, I do work in a bookstore. I let you astray yet? Not yes. yet. You gave me, give me more. But you did say you wanted spice. Hey. That's what you <laughs> said. <laughs> True story. I'm just saying. How you about you this said, one? Does it hurt? I've heard that this is so you good. You ever read it? Mm -hmm. No, it is on my TBR for this month you because got it? I've heard so many people are obsessed with it, but it's not like super spicy. It's I know that you like a little spice. But I've been having a problem keeping it in stock. So. I've heard it's really good. Yeah, I've heard super good. It is good. It's uh, a, a little bit more of the relationship than the get it girl. No, but I yeah. like I like that. That's okay, what I like yes, the hate. That will make. She's like, wait. She's like, wait. Who are you? Because she's like, this isn't Alex from last time. You said I like. I just feel a little like. Um, you want some more. Good. You want some more emotional like so relationship what you need depth. Is a comfort read. Yeah. Oh my. God. I almost hugged you. Okay, I feel that we've bonded. Go for it, bring it in. Okay, so you're gonna want to read her. She's cute. 
kinky, but she's fun, and she's just a little warm hug. She yeah. is my go-to comfort reader. I like her books. I yes. read um, one of her books. It had a like a blue cover. It's not a new one. It's like an older one. Yeah, um, um, they, but they've redone the covers. Yes, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Her book was really good, okay. and so, it yeah, had good banter. Absolutely. It was funny, yes. comfort yes. read. And I'm getting this love redesign. Yeah, yeah, I've heard from so many people that that's like one of their favorite books. Maybe that's what season I'm in. I just want like a comfort, like. Mm -hmm. Well, it's cold. It's miserable outside. Yeah, you want something to make you happy. Happy. The sheets, or you just want to curl up with your cat. Yeah. Like they don't yeah. want to do both. Uh huh, Alex. Oh, <laughs> oh, there we go. Hug it out. Just wait till next week. You'll be like, where's the spice? <laughs> but then I, I would love a stack that is for my people. Yeah. <gasps> Why did I never think about this? Yeah. It's called the comfort read. Yeah. You literally can curl up with I your can, favorite I want another comfort. I want another comfort uh, you want another comfort read? Mm -hmm. I'm You're not right. getting this you one. said, mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put it back. <laughs> You're so emotional. <laughs> you said, I'm about to cry. Okay, this girl. All right, we're getting comfort baby. reads now. That's what we've decided. Baby, um, Thomasy loves her, don't Yeah. Funny. Yeah, it's funny. Baby. It's easy. Yeah. Fluffy, but there's you spice. Don't have to think about it. There's spice. No. Um, yeah, I read Jilla just enough. Yeah, yeah that just keeps enough. Me coming back. And I literally she she has a little too much for me, so it'll be a good amount for you. Awesome. Tessa Bailey was too much for you. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Did you see her face? <laughs> I was just okay. <laughs> I forgot where I got this. A little too much for me, but perfect for you. See, yep. Look, that's, it's that's, good to have that balance. Yep. So I know where we're at. Yep. Um, yeah, so Tessa Bailey is a to fundraise. She is ridiculously simple, happy. I yep. Dang, I'm gonna have to get this copy. Yeah. <laughs> no. Those are so. <laughs> yes, I do. I, I like her books. They're actually putting because you're never too old for pictures. No. Right? I like oh, her yes. name. Yeah, her books are like funny. She's like great. they are. They have a lot of good banter. Like they go back and forth. They're super easy to read. I thought I'd seen one. There There's it is. There's spice in there. Oh wow, that's pretty. Yeah. So you even get pictures. So let me just check to see what the. These are and then I want you to pick falling. some for me okay, next because so I trust so your judgment. Cute and so not meant to be. I was only supposed to leave with one book. <laughs> Those are good picks. Christina Lauren. Love it. Both that was read the first it. book. Yeah. Read it? That was her All first right. one she ever read. Isn't that nice wild? level of smut too. Right? Like a couple weeks ago. So you ago, can't go wrong ago. with any of those. Mm -mm. You really can't. It was one of their books that you told me about that you liked too. It was another one. Mm, I don't know if that was me. You sure? Yeah, because I've read that on Honeymooners. It was okay. read the Soulmate. It was okay. Okay. Nothing hits like no. Love you weren't. It was. It was my friend Arian. She okay. said that she liked. See, don't the trust other equation. people. Trust me. Trust Christy. You know, people be I'm saying all kinds. Weak. of stuff. I do feel like y'all know what I like to read. Yeah, except yes. for sometimes, like right now, we're like this. Well, all she this has to do is this is a new experience for yes, all of us. That's true. Exactly. So now I know approximately this time every month. <laughs> do you have any? Um, do you have any that are like boyfriend leaves for like the military but comes back and loves you? <laughs> Girl. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's like this is very she said, um, there's actually a young adult series like that's like that. Really? Yeah. What's it called? Mila Gray, and I can't remember. I think we've got. So it wasn't over that there. good if you can't remember. The name. No, I actually read them. I. Did, yeah, I don't do titles. I do. Yeah, she reads like a thousand books yeah. a year, so to be literally. Fair. Yeah. Right, like I wouldn't so, remember either. Uh, let me see. Feel so better, guys. Good. <laughs> Not you about to cry. I still can't get over that. You were like, oh, well, I have two books in my hand. Oh, here's Pretty one. Reckless. It's the first. Oh, one. Oh yeah, it's the first one. Which one was this? Uh, By L. J. Shin. But you know what? If you're not, yeah, you're not. If you're not. <laughs> it's like you're not feeling the spice. You want the comfort. <laughs> I want spice and comfort. Okay. Well, well these do have me, these do have spice. You know. Yeah. I mean, yeah. So these both have a little spice, right? Oh, this you know one, def I, Megan Quinn definitely does. Because you know, I don't do books without. Like, I need at least a little. No, there definitely do is I some. I look like I read Georgia Higher. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who that is. Is she that the one that's like at a, a Like a super, super old. Um, I, in fact, she probably has passed away. She writes these. Um, no, seriously, because she was writing when my grandma was doing it. And she, my grandma's been gone a while. These Regency romances where you can't even show your ankle. Um, it would be, yeah. So, yeah, there was like no touching or kissing or. No, there's definitely not what no, you no. read. No, there's spice. In fact, in there. if she read that, that would probably give her a corn. This has the same level of spice as like the fine print. Yes. Oh, okay, I like series. this. And then this but one has more. You know what than I realized? I don't like. What? But I kind of want to start to like. What? Slow burns. Really? I don't know if I like those. 
Well, I can understand why, because they don't even freaking touch yeah. usually until like page 350. Girl, I hit page, what, 247 on Fiverr, and I'm like, hey, I need some, or the book is going to close. <laughs> then finally, it started getting oh, cracked. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. And that's not even like a true slow burn either. Like there's some th slow no. burns where it would be like page yeah. 400 yeah. and they barely even looked at each other. Yeah, oh, and then uh -uh. I would on the book it. too. I would yeah. So then that's one of those series where they just really want to hook you. And yeah, they draw it out. The, you're either in for the Don't trip. ever recommend those to me. <laughs> Good to know. Good to know. <laughs> yeah, I'm scared. No, she's, um, she's like, you're going to come back in and threaten me. <laughs> I'll just like bring it. Like, you always give good recs though. <laughs> Like the only, I feel like the only time I haven't read one of your recs was this last time because you know my list gets so long. But every other book that you've recommended that's for fair. that, incredible. It's not for everybody. Well, I didn't read it only because I just didn't have time. Oh, because that's I don't trust okay, you. I like <laughs> oh, that makes me feel better. No, your recs are great. Is there a, is there more of her books that I would like? That's the yeah, first that's one. The first one. And, and the second one's right there, there, the one she picked up. Yeah. Uh, so not right. meant to be. So not meant to be. And Should then, I get it? Yeah. Wait. <laughs> yes, I know. Okay, I'll read this one first. See if I even like it. Yes. Yeah. Cause I'm like, you bought what the whole Dreamland Billionaire series or something. But I don't like it. Yeah. Did you? Okay. Yeah. I'm not so this, this, friend, this, really. this is an author I love. I, you I love, that book. I really love it. Well, yes. I don't think this is gonna have like enough spice for you. Well, I'm gonna try it. But it's so cute. It's it's super cute. It's very cute. This would be a nice comfort read, but there isn't okay. a ton of like spice in it. I just want comfort with love. <laughs> <laughs> but usually, I feel like the comfort reads sometimes they don't have like that. Like you want that male character who's like, and most of them are kind of like. You know, like Elliot in Love In Other Words, he's like, Loved read with him, me, but he write got with down me. With the get down when it was time. He did, that is very true. And before you, guys, <laughs> before you lovely ladies leave today, you need to take a, a, a peruse on the front door and like behind where the cash registers are. Mm -hmm. I set up a Valentine's Day window. Oh, okay. With, with more some books? recommendations, yes. Thank okay, you. Sweet. Pay attention to all the books that I did that because I did a little tongue in cheek. I love okay. that, okay. Oh, you do the whole store. You're mad. <laughs> For <laughs> fun, we can go with either one. <laughs> or yeah, it's both. That's That's good. That's yeah, good. no, I'm yeah. Okay, wait, who are you right now? Because I'm feeling better now. Because you know, I, I didn't want to She's had a hug. Yeah. She's got some book happiness. Yeah, yes. physical touch. Yeah. <laughs> it cannot be. Level. Yeah, you cannot understate that enough. That is true. I mean, you see your hugs, Alex. That was <laughs> mean. Poor Alex. You know that. Just like give her going to through her. it. It's <laughs> not my fault. The struggle is real. Right now. Okay, now I need a book. Okay, because <laughs> my turn. Right, my turn. No, let I'm me. So sorry, sorry. Let me get a wreck from Miss Sister Christy. <laughs> Don't you love that? I know. It's even got alliterations in it. It looks so. Cute. And the cat's just sitting there, going, "Go ahead, scratch my tummy, but I'm gonna claw you to death yeah. if you do it." Look at it, Alex. Oh, I love that she's a woman of color. I know, right? That is cute. It's all being represented. Alright, I'll take that. Cat so how cat come we don't have like is, is there a reason why we don't have like only for the week and stuff like that? Here? Because they're not um or they're indie authors. They're so you can't buy indie authors in. You can't. Oh. Like, yeah, but it's very hard. Yes, Dang. Yeah. I That's have, why I'm like when she was saying she works really hard to bring in books by mm -hmm. indie authors, it's very hard to do. Which I'm like, for real. Why is it so hard? Here. Because nine times out of ten they're not returnable, mm. and so it's stock that sits oh. on our thing if they don't. And if and people don't know who they are, then they're not going to want to buy it, so they just sit. So you really have but to have I've someone gotten like them in, so I've got to hide <laughs> people like, up and be like, right. buy this. I've, I, well, I, the rule is, is I have to read it, I've read it, and stand behind it. Okay. So I brought in Sinner's Playground. I brought in Broken Bonds. Is that a new one? Broken Bonds. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. It's a. Um, Supernatural, they all have like powers. I don't want to give it away, but okay. there's there's extra yummy in it. Mm. See, you, you make me want to read it just because I know it's an indie author and I know it's not even my genre. Yeah. Like that is sick. Jay Bree is one of my favorite indie authors, to be quite honest with you. And That's then so my cool. other favorite, and she's so dark and depraved, it's amazing. It's Chantal Tessier. I've heard about that author. And I've gotten three I've gotten all three of the books. Is in the so ritual far. the first one or something like that? Yes. See? And um, I can't keep these in stock. I they heard it's fly so good. off the shelves. But yeah, I was able to get these in. So wow, kudos to you. We need more people in bookstores that do that. Yeah, That's so cool. no, I'm all about supporting the small writer, the indie author. Um, That's so cool. I used to, I used to write, so I am published. Wow. So I, yeah. 
What's your book? I don't have them here because they're indie published. But yeah, you can look me up online. I but, will. Yeah. Oh my god. So um, that's so cool. But yeah, and I um. Is it got smut? She's like, do you know who I am? It was a joke. My best friend, it was my critique partner, and she sent one back to me. She goes, yeah, you didn't write this one. And I was like, what do you mean? She goes, there was no wall sex, because <laughs> books have wall sex in them. <laughs> oh, my God. What's your last name? Ehlers. A -A I took a picture of her Goodreads. Oh, okay, so. okay. We're going to, oh, we got to find it. Oh, for sure. We're yeah. for sure going to read it. Yes. Yeah. You so, will probably, because. You're reading it, too. <gasps> you're definitely <laughs> reading it. Read yes. <laughs> Are you wanting to step out of your comfort zone? Or mm, you I don't know. To... Maybe a little bit. I've Maybe been stepping outside of mine. You need to step step Dun outside of yours. Dusted? No, I have not read that. Since you're racking up. Oh my god, I am. This I is one of the most hysterical books. Isn't it? I loved it. And I, I don't do sweet and spicy. I don't do the sweet. Mm -hmm. I mean, I do, but I like and no spice. shade to those that only read that. I swear. Right. I like spice, um, like you know, the fine print, dream of billion. The only series. thing that disturbed me about the cover was is that her lip rose at his tongue. Oh. Let me see. <laughs> Look at it. It kind of you can't really tell. We want it to be her tongue. <laughs> Right? <laughs> Otherwise, it's not good color lipstick. Yeah. I'll take that one. Okay. Oh my gosh. And this was an indie. Uh, are they are they uh, traditionally they're, published they're, now? They're getting picked up. Oh, yeah. they are. Yes. That's so cool. I think I saw this on TikTok. Like. So Emily ago. Rath, um, she wrote a really steamy. Um, well, you won't like it because there's too many men involved walking <laughs> around. She has been picked up by um, Kensington. Is that like that 700-page book? Yes, it's so good. And is it really? If you want a copy, I've got some in there. I just haven't brought them out yet. And it's now sparkly. Actually, bring it out. Let okay. me let me look at it. Just, <laughs> the said, only reason I'm saying it. that is because I've heard from so many people that it's so good. One of my friends, um, Mina Reads, if you guys aren't. Um, follow her you guys should definitely need to go check out her channel she just said that she read that 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 book last year it was her longest book of the year and she really loved it 700 pages pure spice mm. so we'll see we'll see how I feel about 700 it, pages 700 pages girl of just spice well I mean there was a story but yeah it was spicy oh my gosh I haven't seen this in any bookstore how do you do this how do you do this so it's got spice. It has sparkles on it. Look at this. Sean, see, are we getting it? Oh, you're getting it. This is the best selling TikTok hockey romance. In the spicy best selling TikTok hockey romance series debut, one ambitious woman scores a major career goal. But when it comes to all the hot options in her personal life, oh, you why can come on. choose? <laughs> you're like, wait, this is hot. Oh my gosh, how are you? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm like, wait a minute, I don't know her. I'm taking this. You should take it too. Yes, I think I want it but too. This is this is a why choose romance, though. So. Wait, a what? <laughs> why choose? <laughs> it's why choose. So it's sometimes you feel like Denny, sometimes you feel like Mike. Wait, who's I've got some work that I've got to do to get you there. But who's Harley Larue? Hey, um, Harley Larue. Harley Larue. Is that like another sure. spicy series? My husband may or may not have gotten lucky the other night. <gasps> <laughs> I look innocent, but I'm not. We know. Oh, yeah, yeah you know, know the jealous spice. <laughs> you definitely look innocent. Yeah, I bring the freak, but I bring the fun too, so you know, it's all good. Um, but yeah. Oh my no, you're good. I mean, sorry. the books you read, I mean. I feel like they tell a lot about yeah. your personality. Like, <laughs> they tell a lot like about we your know. experiences. <laughs> I forgot you were okay. <laughs> Sweet and simple over here, and then I'm going to bring that. <laughs> sorry. Okay. We'll That's see. We'll see. This. I feel like this is going to be probably the spiciest Yay. book I've ever read. It is. I've never read a Y2. I love this. I love that. <sighs> we so have try to read this at the same time. This is one of my favorite tropes. Okay. Really? Yeah. Fact, What's the trope? It's white shoes. It's a reverse harem. <laughs> I got in trouble with Jesus last time. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but <laughs> I mean, technically my feet always speaking, start to go crazy. <laughs> no, it's all yeah. You're good. You don't have to get it if you don't want to. I'm getting it. Do it. So <laughs> do it. What Sin is with me? <laughs> I'm gonna, and I'll have it read before we come back. Yes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm read mine too. And then read she's it. gonna be going, Christy, I need more of those. And I'm gonna be going, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> I've never read a Why Choose before. 
Yeah, so it'll be so much fun. I kind of wish I could sit there and watch you read it. You know, I've heard be I've fun. heard that this one's good, and um, I feel like whenever I hear from people like you or like other people who just like really hype it up, who've read a lot of books, I'm like, I trust that more. Mm -hmm. So yes, and now, you have got a perfect balance of book happiness. Yay! And look, we got you comfort. I did. I want. I did want one more yeah. of hers, but I guess I'll read one and see if I actually like her. Writing, yeah, so. and we can look around more. Like we still have some time, but these are the these are good recs from oh you too. God. And we can do some. <laughs> your stuff around. We can garden. do some uh, extra browsing too, just to see like if there's anything else that we want to read. Um, Absolutely. Pick up, but, mm -mm, we had to get your recs. Oh, we gotta hurry up. I have to wait for too. Yeah, but remember we late ate. We couldn't even eat at the restaurant last time. We had to take to go. Oh, you want to sit down That's and true. eat, and then and eat. you guys should take this one into the restaurant with you and start, start reading it. Oh my god! What? <laughs> You're just. Yeah. You know what? It's okay to it's it's okay to read multiple books at the same time. I'm trying to learn how to do that. She yeah. does that. I read like four at a time because it's still, like depending on my mood. Sometimes it's I do want want some want. spice. Sometimes. sometimes you want Michael. Sometimes you want Dennis. <laughs> and sometimes you want you know. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> John sees a dirty girl. <laughs> I can't with you. My stomach hurts. Thank you. We you appreciate were very you. welcome. Okay. We uh, are tagging the uh, Instagram because people wanted to come in and get your rec. Okay, so yeah, absolutely. Do that. Who, you know, come in and ask for your rec. She's no. Yeah, my cousin said she came in and introduced herself to you. She did. <laughs> in fact, she, she was walking and she goes, Christy? <laughs> <You're> like, <"Yeah." laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, we haven't told anyone your location yet, because um, I wanted to ask. No, feel free. Okay. Yeah. All yeah. readers All right, are welcome. All right. Okay. And I can rec? recommend Outside of Romance, so I'm not just a one-trick pony. Ooh. Oh, you, you're a lot of people sci-fi. Yes, I've got you on all the all the places. Oh, my God. I feel so bad because I know I'm going to like it. <laughs> We're going to love it. Oh it's going to be this heart thing. In fact, I, I predict it so it'll be one of yours favorite one of your favorite reads of 2024 wow. no i've heard that but you're good so you're probably right sister christy yes i'm excited oh my god <laughs> but yeah oh, thank you you're thank welcome. welcome oh my, oh my gosh, gosh so oh, she got me sinning <laughs> no i've i've heard that this is good uh, 700 pages of lust of lust that's wild sure. also it looks they have the names in here they have like Rachel and then they have hold on where are the rest of the names oh wait is it all who I've been seeing stuff as I've been Jake. Jake who's the other name I think there's one more name in here Omari Omar Amari and I just heard, I just saw orgasm I just see this <laughs> I saw sex I saw flick <laughs> You that was just a flip through. I know. How are you gonna make it through this? I don't know. I don't know. I don't ever read spicy books like this. It's gonna be fun. That's <laughs> really the, the that's time. yeah, this, that's really the only reason I'm buying know. it because I want to experience it with you. <laughs> I don't know, are we fun. gonna read it the same pace? Because it's seven hundred pages. Like I feel like you'll eat it up. I feel like I'm gonna be like I can be intentional about reading it at your pace. Okay. So we could be like, Okay, we're only reading fifty pages today, okay. or only all right, so let's let's pick um, a book now. But I want to pick a book for you, okay? And then you pick a book for me, okay? And then, but um, you maybe vlog it over there or something, and then I'll do I'll go to the dark romance because that's where I like um, you like, and then you stay over here, okay? Vlog it, and then we'll and we come have back, to get it, and we have to get it, okay? Yeah. Okay, that's the idea. Well, you better come see I this part on my channel because she's leaving me, <laughs> right? I'm literally just going over there. Don't do that. She knows I'm emotional today, y'all. <laughs> she is. Oh my god. <laughs> I've dealt with you since uh, age ten, so I feel like I can deal with you today. <laughs> it's your face, y'all. When she met me, she gonna say something. Are you eighteen? Do you think I was like grown? Eighteen. Remember, you thought I was grown. I did. Well, it's, it wasn't even because of how you look. It was because you were with like four children. You were like, <laughs> like they weren't your kids, but you were just babysitting. Yeah. Like I don't know if it was your siblings or somebody else's kids or what. And I remember we were um, at camp and. I was like, oh, I thought you were one of the counselors. <laughs> yeah, no, just me. But you were, it was because you were watching people's kids, that's why. Yeah. Perfect. Cool. All right. She's so controlling. Break. <laughs> I came up with the idea. She's such a freaking Leo. I'm, I came up with the idea. She's such a freaking Leo. I came up with the idea how you can hi try to hijack. <laughs> I ain't trying to hijack nothing. 
<laughs> they come see you older. Girl, my arm. Look at my arm. And they look. So your arms look amazing. Thank you. It's giving Angela Bassett. Is it? And you know how big of a comp compliment that is? I don't. I really don't. I don't know what her arms look like. <gasps> this is this is actually hurting. Now. Hold on, y'all. Don't move. We're about to show y'all Angela Bassett's arms. Ooh, if she has great arms, it's, I'm just gonna feel so good about myself. I'm assuming it's a compliment. Hopefully, she girl, doesn't. you know me better than that. <laughs> your hair looks so good. Yeah, right. I don't know why you're saying it's lopsided. It looks so good. So let me put this right here. Actually. Look at Angela Bassett. Look at her body. Yeah. Oh yeah. my god. Can I see her? Hold on, let me focus on that. Whoa, you gotta get your lips out. And they go crusty too. <laughs> yeah, hold on, let me, let me focus on it. There we go. Oh yeah, you can see it now. Wow. Yeah, she, look, Wow. Her arms are- Giving body. Her arms are freaking amazing. Yes, how That's what she's known for. Like you didn't oh know god. that? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I can't keep up. So what? Okay, never mind. All right, you get me one, I'll get you one, okay. and then we'll meet. Okay, um, go on get now. All right, bye. Bye. I'm going to go over to the other side okay, and yeah, so see what I can like get for awesome. her. Not her talking about me. She's like, Sean is being bossy. I'm just making me pick a, a book. I'm about to pick a book that I know she won't like. Let's see. I got a... <laughs> like Satan's Fair. She'll be like, no, whatever I get her, she has to get. I kind of want to, <gasps> guys, I kind of want to get her Haunting Adeline because she doesn't have this one yet. And I feel like, I do feel like she would like this one because I've heard so many people who've read this book and actually really liked it. Um, and this is toxic and she likes a toxic romance. I'm nervous though because some people say that this is like crazy, crazy, like, you know, like, like too much but i don't know if this is like too much for her because she does like a toxic romance let's see her over there she's like, she's like your outfit is so cute such a vibe just somebody over there guys look at her look at her making friends does it have to be the books that you like it can be whatever you want yeah it can be whatever you want okay so that's what you're getting yeah it could it might be something you love it might be something that i love Okay, guys. So change plans. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, I was I was holding something that I knew you would like. You're, I mean, you're gonna like it. Uh, uh huh. Okay. I'm gonna make sure it's like, uh, cause you love fine print, right? Uh huh. So it'd be like something a little more there. Okay. Yeah, not much, but I'm trying to see if she if she'll. Why is she I think I think she'll like this book, but I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it over here as a maybe. Haven't decided yet. Let's see, I'm gonna try to hide it so she doesn't see it. She's coming over my area. She, she's going over to Christy to see if Christy will give her a wreck. And literally, Christy's probably like, I'm tired of y'all. Y'all come in every month, like, let, taking me away from work. Let's see, what? This is her, like, the spicier section, I think she said. Or maybe this is, like, the fluffier side because all these books like look so like pink and bright and stuff and I wanted to get her something that she would actually like let's see if I can go over to this side oh yeah these are the more like spicier books I think and these are the ones that she likes so she already has a twisted series there's a book by Anna Huang that I wanted to get her um, I actually saw uh, someone else talking about it and I actually own it but I haven't read it yet and I think that she would like it but they do not have it here Let's see what else is there and she didn't want to read the book by sophie lark that i recommended there's so many books <gasps> guys okay this is a it's kind of a fluffy book but i haven't read it yet but she did say she wanted like a military romance i think that this is a military romance so this could be an option um I don't know if he's in the military though or if her family is a military family because that would make a big difference so maybe i think her family's a military family in that one there's so many books oh my gosh so I did end up reading um now I'm thinking about it I read flawless which is the first book in the chestnut spring series because I thought it was reckless but it's actually flawless and I read flawless it was good but it was a little too much spice for me and so the rating on that book was like a little bit lower than other ones because of the spice but I bought the rest of the series because it was really easy to read so I'm like cool love her writing very easy but she likes spice so part of me is like maybe she would like that because there is a lot of spice in it um but they don't have the first one here so 
feel like a lot of the firsts are uh, gone. Like, a lot of people have already bought them, um, which kind of stinks. I mean, it's good that people are obviously really into reading, but not good for me, because I'm trying to find books that I think that she might like. <gasps> Ooh, I could get her. Oh my gosh. Okay, can we talk about how Christy does such a good job bringing in books? Oh, literally dropping stuff. Bringing in books that you do not see often in bookstores. Guys, look at this book. I have never, never seen this book in a bookstore, literally ever. Say You Swear by Megan Brandy. I don't even know if this is a book that is like traditionally published. I don't even know if, like, I don't know, because I've literally never seen it in a bookstore, but she does such a good job of bringing these in um, that I think is so cool because, like, I shouldn't have to go and get every indie book off of Barnes, you know? Because I don't have, like, a new bookstore in my hometown. And a lot of bookstores, I feel like, don't sell everything that you want, like, from um, smaller, like, authors and stuff, but heard so many good things about this book. I do not own it. I kind of want to buy this one because the other one that I own isn't as floppy. Um, and this one's like super floppy. So it's kind of making me want to read it more than the one that I actually own. That is one thing that's kind of like <laughs> frustrating because I found that a lot of books that have been um, like published in stores now, they are like coming out with a different binding. So it's actually easier to read than uh, if I had like a different, um, if I had like the older version. I oh think. My God. Why <laughs> you came over to my side. You're over here with me. I was already over here. Can you tell that I'm trying to get you something that you want though? Because I'm in hey, this hey, side. Look where I am. Look where I am. Oh yeah. yeah. She's in the flipping yeah. side. Yeah. <laughs> she loves me. Don't come for me. I'm like, sit for you. <laughs> yeah, I'm really thinking about it too. Like, really <laughs> no, you're not. I'm really like, okay, I don't know if she'll like Oh, I have a book that I think you're really gonna like. I'm trying to keep it hidden. All right, I'm gonna go over. I think I got it. So where are we going? Oh, I trip over my dress. Where are we going? To show our books once we're done. You're so cute. Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to keep it hidden. She's such a good friend. <laughs> Look at her, she loves me. She's picking up books that she thinks I'm like. You're gonna get so always no part of the, the video because I saw. Uh, I said we love your Caucasian love. <laughs> Girl, <laughs> I can't do with her. <laughs> She's like, mm, and Rachel, okay. You already found it. We can come over here back in the car. Okay. All right. I'll meet you over there. You can keep looking though. All right. I'm gonna walk over there. Don't look at. Don't look at my pile. Yeah, you should have. You should read it if you have the other one. I'm trying to keep the other book hidden so she doesn't see it. <laughs> I'm go over here in this corner. I hope she likes it. This is a good spot to show her books. Guys, I have so many books. Like, I really need to start getting a basket. Um, I feel like I never get a basket and every time I come in, like literally remember when Alex was like, we should get one book at least when we go to the bookstore. Like, we're for sure gonna get more books than one. <laughs> Like every time we come in and get way more than one book every freaking time um, and It's just like I could get more and more every time there's never like a cap that I want like I could stay in here Like for hours and hours. How long have we even been in here? Um, right now it is Let's see Right now it is 12 17. We have been in here for so long Holy cannoli. We got in here at, we got here at nine o'clock, nine in the morning. We sat in the parking lot for like an hour and talked as you guys saw. And now we've been in here for um, like this is long. This is, this is wild. have her pick and it's something that I think that you'll like because okay. I've heard so many people say that it's really good okay. and it has spice okay. it has toxicity okay and people say that this is the um, what's it called this is the darker version of the twisted series I feel like you've told me this before about a book let me guess yes okay guess is it a book that I know about yeah I've told you to get it you haven't gotten it 
Just give me the first letter. No. <laughs> it's a book you told me about. Because you've explained this before. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a stalker kind of romance. I don't know. But you told me about it. Dun, 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 dun. Haunting no. Adeline. <laughs> no, I'm not I can't. I'm not. Yes. Yes. I can't. Yes. I can't. I can't. <laughs> she betrayed me. <laughs> That's like my lips are peeling. It's supposed to be like a... a a better no. version of the Twisted series. <laughs> I've heard that Haunting Outline is bad. I heard that it's wild, but I, I heard that it, it... I heard it's like the Twisted series. It's no, like I'm darker. gonna go switch because you... Do. This is, You don't think that you would like this? I heard that it's good. That, I was trying to give you something you would like. If you don't want me to give you something you'd like, I'll to, I can get something else. <laughs> I just know you love the Twisted series. And if this is... So, you met Nikaya, right? Nikaya, she was at my mm -hmm. um, Christmas thing. Um, she read this. She's not okay. a reader. She does not oh, hardly read like, I heard at that all. It's like... She read this, loved it, ate it up. And I was like, do you think I'd like it? She was like, um, she's like, it might be a little more than like what you would normally read. But she was like, it was so good. Couldn't okay. Fit. Now I want to go switch your book. Oh, did you not get a good one or something? I mean, I only picked it because the cover was cute. Oh. Because I couldn't find one that really that I wanted to get you. I wanted oh. toxic, and I was trying to get something I knew you would like. Gotcha. Well, so cute. now I want. If you want to go switch, you can. Yeah, because okay. this is disrespectful. <laughs> disrespectful. Watch my phone. It's I camera. feel like I'm this not... is what you would want. Remember, I told you that I was scared to read that one. Why? Because everybody was telling me if you think that giving more was too much, you're oh, they definitely... said that. A, they said like yes, that. Yeah, they said that hunting Adeline is like way worse. Then give me more. That's what they said. Yeah, I didn't know they said that. Yeah. I thought they were saying if you thought Twisted series was a lot, then that's more than well, Twisted gonna, series. I'm gonna read it because I heard that it's very good. I don't think that there is. Um, it's not like reverse harem or anything either. Why are you whispering? We're in a I don't know. <laughs> Everybody knows where. No, I was gonna scream. I don't know. I'm back. Okay. Watch this so many. Y'all, I thought I got her a good book. I think that I think that it's a good book. You know what? I think it's a good book. I think she'll like it, and I think that she will thank me. Maybe I'll eat my words later, but I think she'll thank me for the book that I got her. Come all you young rounders, and a story I'll tell of the promise of heaven. In the warning of hell but Take heed where you ramble Or too soon you will go Way up on the hillside Where the new flowers grow Hell he met in the springtime The sun sings <laughs> Y'all excuse me over here, I look in shambles. Alright, so I'm gonna show you um the books that I got first. I can go first. Okay, just do one and then I'll do one. Okay guys, so the first book I got is Love Redesigned by Lauren Asha. I've heard that this one's really good. Yeah, I've seen it everywhere. If you like a grumpy sunshine or like a, you know, the one billionaire brokey trope. Is that one billionaire brokey? <laughs> uh, but yes, I don't have to read the back, do I? Uh -huh. We don't have time, so. Yeah, we're trying to make it over to Texas Roadhouse. And then I got, as a recommendation from Christy, which I'm going to leave her Goodreads below so you guys can, like, get wrecks from her because she reads so many books. Um, I got Done and Dusted by Layla Sage. And this book looks so good. I've heard about it on TikTok. It's like a country romance. It says she's off limits, but she's he's never been good at following the rules. I'm about to cut you out, girl. What? Were you mocking me? No, I just rubbed my lips together. Mm. I must have got it. You'll see when you're going to feel real crazy <laughs> when you're watching this. Well, yeah, she's off. <laughs> The last two times that we did the video, you were like, <laughs> Oh, yeah, no, no, no. I promise. Like, you I okay. promise. Um, it says she's off limits, but he's never been good at following the rules. So it's a small town romance. I think it's going to be good. And then um, I got two other books. You got two other books too, didn't you? I could show all of mine though because on your channel because they already saw the book you got me. 
Fuck y'all. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Yours. Yeah. You're okay. Right. So this book recommendation came from Sister Christy herself. Christy with a K, not a C H. She's so good. Um, at a not so meet cute by Megan Quinn. You know, I didn't even look at the title. I just say I just got it because y'all say get it. <laughs> Yeah, I own that one too. Her writing is really fun. Really? Like, if you're looking okay. for a comfort read, like, lots of mm -hmm. banter, like, it's very, yes. so very, that's very good. Look I got. And then I got, um, Pucking Around. <sighs> Y'all, this is gonna be spicy. It has a glittery front, like, cover. I think it's kind of cool. We actually went up to the front at the cash register, and the girl was like, Oh, I didn't even know that this was out, like, on the shelves. And I was like, Yeah, she pulled it from the back. <laughs> and it's 700 oh, pages of straight spice so we're gonna see how i feel about this one oh, but i've heard right. it's great so wait a minute i didn't even notice the title yes y'all we got the same book yes we got the same book because why not yeah that was my third book tucking around and then um the other book that i got was offside this is a thick one too and this one actually has a new cover it used to have a cover that had like a guy on the front so i'm so glad that they changed the cover because i would not have bought that one but it says heartbreaker troublemaker and my ex's biggest rival like he's it says he's the last person I should fall for, but it might just be too late. Oh is that look good? Yeah. And there's like text messages in here. Great. Like this looks so good. And it has both point of oh. views. I will read this soon. This yes. looks so good. Yeah. And then is that all that you got? Oh and then the one you got me. Yes. And then y'all, the one she made me get, haunting Adeline. This better be good for thirty dollars. Was it really, girl? Thirty dollars. That's wild. I said, oh lord. But remember the last time I said you should get it, and it was literally out of stock. That was the last one. That's why. That was the very last. Oh, one. Oh, this was. This this copy was the last one, and the last time we were here when I said get it, they uh -huh. have it in stock. Y'all. Because I asked her, I said, do you have haunting Adeline? She said we did, but it's gone for Christmas. Like everyone's been buying it. And I'm gonna have this red before we get together again, so I can tell y'all if I like it or not. I'm not even gonna tell people on my channel. I'm just telling y'all because. <gasps> Y'all will get the first reaction. Well, they'll know by the time, like, I mean, give it a couple days, they'll know that you got this book, so I'm sure they'll watch it here. So you could tell them, like, you don't have to keep a secret. No, I'm talking about my review of the book. Oh, I'm not, not talking until... about, about the book until we come back next month. Because a lot of them in the comments was like, well, if you thought Give Me More was up, do not read. Really? Yeah, it's, uh, so, y'all, I'm a little nervous, but it's okay. God's good. <laughs> Alright y'all, uh, head over to her channel if you want to see the rest of the day. We're just going to go to like Texas Roadhouse and hang out and chat. You'll get a lot more chatty. Like if you like the chats at the beginning of this video, you're going to like the chats that you see over on Ask's yes. channel because it'll be more chats. So yes. see you guys in the next video.